like uh, uh here we go here we go all right here we go salute to nick station on this friday evening yes eventually we will start the show and it is right now yeah. CP the franchise here, Alex Charles, JD Sports Talk, CK2K, the KFTV All Star Squad cast in the building tonight. All the talking is over with. We are less than 24 hours away, man. Game one at the Garden. Knicks versus Sixers, round one of the playoffs. Let's get it popping, man. The squad cast, call us up 657 383 1509, or you can hit us up. On the KFTV Discord, man. Let's get it going. Knicks and Sixers ready to tip off, man. Let's go. Let's go. All right, fellas. How we feeling, man? How we feeling, y'all? Feeling good, man. You know, yeah. I just wanted to embrace how the team's going about it. wearing black hoodies, so I'm rocking the black hoodie. I'm locked in for tomorrow. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready for this match. It's, it's, a, go, it's black hoodie season. Yeah, I'm, I'm rolling up there in my black hoodie, man. That I feel like it's Knicks versus Philly Turnpike series. Mm. We we gotta go in there, grimy. You know what I mean? We Battle gotta go I-95. in there, grimy. Battle of the I-95, man. CK, how you feeling, man? I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. I didn't even watch today's game because once I found out who we were playing, I didn't even care. I could care less. Yeah. I don't even know the score. Y'all tell me the score in the chat. I don't even know. I'm ready for tomorrow. Oh, these, game one. <laughs> these games tonight have been straight bump fests. I mean, I'm you sure. Know. Yeah. Couldn't tell you. I was watching wrestling, bro. I couldn't even There tell you go. You. Smackdown, it is, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. man. JD, uh, what's good, bro? I just, I literally just realized you guys are all in black. I'm the only one. Yeah. Mm. So, trying to make a little late game adjustment sure. here. <laughs> Um, have no have no idea what the team is doing uh, because, uh, you know, it's been multiple days on their press conferences. Jalen Brunson wearing black today, he says, is because it's the first thing he saw in his closet. I yeah. don't believe that. I don't believe yep. it. I don't believe nope. it. Nope. Not, not when OG follows. On. Not when OG's doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, right. Everybody's doing the same thing. Because yeah. OG Dante seems like the guy that be OG. on his own lane. Yeah. yeah, OG seems like the guy that he just going in there as soon as the game's over, he goes straight home like he like he has his own life. And if he's locked in and he's into the plan, yeah, there's yeah. there's definitely something going on. Yeah, reminds yeah. me of a uh, Shumper Jr. Smith that year when uh, they all were wore black in Boston for the funeral. So I don't know what this means, but I guess we have to follow suit. Yeah. No, a- absolutely, man. And uh, can't wait for tomorrow. Oh man, I'm I'm hyped. I'm hype. I-, I can't wait. Let's go, man. It feels like we haven't seen Knicks basketball in like two weeks. So <laughs> l- l- let's just get to it, man. But, you know, I feel like we've we've dissected this series in a hundred different ways on every platform, on every <laughs> on every medium that there is. <laughs> Written podcast, video, live stream, in studio, out studio. So, yeah, I- I'm just ready to go, man. But uh, the opening news, Joel and B questionable. For tomorrow, uh, game one, man, is this is this real or is this cap? Is this playoff posturing? What, what do you guys think, man? I think it's posturing, man. I think it's just some gamesmanship. I feel like with Nick Nurse, who shout out to Will Wu, covers the Raptors. Yeah. Um, you know, when I previewed games with him, he said Nick Nurse is Nick Thibodeau. That's what Raptors fans called him, and we know Tom Thibodeau is a man that. Likes to go through the gamesmanship processing. Hey, he's not, he may not be available tomorrow. He's questionable. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Have you guys thinking, how do you have to make adjustments on the fly right now if Joel Embiid is not playing? I think that's what Nick Nurse is doing. But I think Embiid's going to play tomorrow. There's no way you could tell me he plays in a playing game and yeah. then misses game one of the, of, of the round one series. That, may, that makes no sense. Yeah, to me, man. That makes absolutely no sense. It definitely sounds like cap, but you know what? Let's let's hit, let's roll the soundbite from uh Philly beat reporter Keith Pompey. Uh, he was mm. on the putback with Ian Begley today, our friend Ian Begley, and we're gonna go to the soundbite from Keith because uh, he was supposed to give us a soundbite last night before he couldn't figure out how to get his technology working and stood us up for an hour on the game of the week preview. But that's neither here nor there. Let's hear what he has to say uh, on today's show. And react to it. Here we go. Here's Keith Pompey, uh, the the great and technologically advanced one. Here he is. 
Now, now here's the thing about Embiid. It's like, as far as where is he? You know, I would have to say that he took a step back. You know, I thought that he was like 90 something percent, 95. He was getting back to just being in condition. But, you know, as of the last game, when you saw the Miami, he didn't have the mobility that he had before. Um, it, it seemed like he didn't have the lift on his shot. Um, I don't know if it was mental or not, like if he was fearful of, uh, you know, in re-injuring the knee. But I didn't see the same aggressiveness, aggressiveness that I saw in the previous games before before the injury, before the tweak. So I would have to say Embiid's around 80%, you know what I mean? But, I mean, that's good, I guess, but not for a playoff game, in, in my opinion. CK, what do you think, man? An 80% Embiid, does that swing things, in, in your opinion? I'm in such a... I'm in a weird spot with Embiid, man. I... It, 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 even when he decided to return towards the end of the season, I still didn't believe he was fully ready to come back. It felt like it was more of a move to try and help keep this team afloat, the Philadelphia 76ers. And I feel like that is where the Sixers are at right now. Um, I def I'm with Alex. I definitely believe he's playing tomorrow. But it's one of those things where I don't want to, you know, take him lightly because he's still Joel Embiid. I mean, we, we can't forget the crazy start to the season he had. But I, there's some, some about him just isn't right. You heard him say 90%, 80%, almost went to 70%. I'm sure if that clip kept going on, he probably would have gone all yeah. the way down to 30%. Yeah. I just, I, I don't know how durable Embiid is. And yeah, Nick Nurse is very Thibodeau like where if he, if he's gonna play, he gonna play him. And I don't know if that is gonna be um, a negative for them, but a huge positive for us, which is why my whiteboard says Nick's in five because I don't trust the durability of Joel and B because he's going to try and give it a go. Yeah. But I don't think he's fully ready to actually go, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. According to everybody, we ain't got a, um, a option on how to guard him. So we'll show him. We'll find out. We'll figure that out tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, looking at him in the play and he, he clearly, he was, he looked to slip a uh, step slow, looked like yep. he was laboring out there, but still got the job done in the fourth quarter with, with 11 points, hit a couple of good threes, uh, had a nice and one. He was, a, he was a playmaker as well. So he's very effective for Philly, albeit at whatever percentage that he is. Uh, but nevertheless, for the Knicks, look, I, I think this is an opportunity over the course of this series to wear him down. And, and by that, I mean, pushing it at a faster pace. Uh, keeping him away from the basket, utilizing a lot of iHeart. I think iHeart is going to be ready to go. iHeart already, he, in his sound bites, knows that Embiid is going to try to bait him into drawing a lot of fouls. So iHeart has to play a very disciplined game. But I'm looking for heavy two man action between iHeart and Jalen Brunson. A little high pick and roll action. You get Josh Hart out there, get that rebound and push it and, and play him off the court. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to play him off the court, man. JD, your thoughts? I think he's playing. Um, and, but I mean, I think he's going to play a lot. He had, uh, played 38 minutes in the elimination game against the Miami heat. And it's going to be up to the Knicks to make him work defensively. Um, you know, he was laboring against the heat and he was not interested in playing defense, um, at all. Like, right. You know, he did not want to come out to Kevin Love. He did not want to defend, uh, pick and rolls. I thought, you know, the heat didn't do enough to attack that but it's also also exposed a little bit of a weakness that the heat didn't have which was without terry rogier they weren't able to have that guard uh to to attack you know Embiid, and they had hero who was going more sideline to sideline so i'm looking for Jalen brunson to take advantage of that yeah. or to at least try to test it and, and and that's why to me isaiah hartenstein is a huge x factor to this series big x factor big x factor i'm looking at the blockness monster mitchell robinson as well because you, you guys know how these series go let's say we go out there win game one you know game two when the referees say, listen yeah this, this thing gets mm -hmm. a little rigged and gets a little riggy here and there so by mm -hmm. game two a couple of uh, aggressive moves to the basket. Next thing you know, iHeart's sitting out with, with two quick bullets in the first quarter. So Mitch Robinson's going to be very important. His discipline will also be tested. Uh, precious, I, I think, to a tertiary extent. Uh, I'm not really relying on him against them beat. I think, you know, he could potentially get over Matt's there. But definitely uh, the Knicks' two bigs in uh, Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah Hartenstein are going to be key here. Uh, Al, you had our guy Dave Early on yesterday. And shout out to Dave Early, man. And talk about professionalism. 
some, you know, we're, we're going to kick Keith Pompey a little bit more while he's down because we, we did not appreciate Good. him standing us up last minute last night on the Game of the Week preview. But shout out to Dave Early for coming in out of the bullpen in a pinch. You guys got it in on the Game of the Week preview. Uh, what was his thoughts in terms of Embiid and, and how the Knicks might play him? Look, they're, the concern is going to be on the defensive side. You know, they're going to want to make sure that Embiid can stay engaged offensively. But defensively, you know, you got to worry about that knee is what Dave was talking about. And you saw it. He talked about his mobility, his – how you saw – how Miami was constantly attacking Embiid and trying to get the switch so that way he'd have to come out to the perimeter and then have to chase. So I would like to see the Knicks do the same thing. CP, you talked about again, Brunson out there with Isaiah Hartenstein. Hey, even Josh Hart, you know, who's yeah. been doing a little bit of pick and roll as well. Make sure that he gets downhill. Any way to make Embiid work, as we've all been discussing on this panel, you got to make him work defensively, man. Make, test that knee. Test all right, that is the weakness. Test it. Yeah. See if he's capable of doing it. And if he's not... Keep keep attacking it more, all right? We already know what his weakness is. Force the other guys to have to show up in tomorrow's game. Make Kelly Oubre have to be a factor. Make Tyrese Maxey have to be a factor. And, look, we've seen what Philly has done this season. Without Embiid, they went down to the play man. They really need Embiid to be that catalyst. He can still go out there and get you 20, 25 yeah, points. Quick. That's just how good he is, all right? But, look, I told you, my key matchup in yesterday's preview is Hartenstein versus... Uh, Joel Embiid, but make no mistake, OG Ananobi is also going to be playing an impactful game as well, whether that's yeah. him guarding Maxi or him playing in the front court and being that help defense. You know, if he's guarding Tobias Harris, if he's guarding Kelly Oubre, you can see I'm expecting him to be cheating over to make sure to, you know, make sure Embiid has to work twice as hard to get a bucket, man. Yeah. I just see that happening tomorrow. <clears throat> it's, it's very interesting because, you know, I think – the the Knicks and the Heat are gonna attack. Well, we saw already saw what the Heat were gonna do, right? They deployed a lot of zone, heavy zone, full court press. That's what Spolster is able to do. They're able to junk it up. You saw it again tonight in their game against Chicago. They can just throw out a lot of different coverages that just makes things very difficult for the Knicks. It's more of um, their skill sets relying on their individual skill sets, their team defense. They don't deploy a zone in, in that regard. Um, so like the OG factor, I think is going to be very interesting looking at the record that this team had with OG in the regular season. Now we get to see it when it's money time and when it's money time to be an absolute disruptor out there because OG can really help swing things in our favor. Um, should he be out there and play to his strengths on the, on the defensive end? Because you're going to be seeing him out there. First of all, make sure Batum is not out there shooting wide open threes, uh, mm -hmm. get Kelly Oubre out of there. You got to then, – then I see him checking Maxi in crunch time. I don't think he's going to get the Maxi assignment uh, off the rip, right? You're going to have to take your chances. DiVincenzo, I think, is going to get that primary assignment in the beginning. And then you put Brunson on – it'll be Kyle Lowry. You know, the Anthony Melton in this game, he's going to be out with the with the neck injury. I put uh, OG on Ubre, And then from there, hey, you know, if the Knicks are in the switching situation, I'm good with them one through five. We're, we're good to go. CP, and I guess for everyone else on the panel, you don't think that you'd want OG on Maxi to start off with and see if how well Hartenstein is playing and beat. I mean, we can look back at game one. That's how it started. OG was back, was on Maxi, had Hartenstein who was playing solid defensively. I mean, if you can just, if Hartenstein can hold his own weight and you can just deploy OG anywhere else and stop the second best player, wouldn't you want to do that? JD, what do you think? Uh, it's, it's interesting because you, you know, Miami played Jimmy Butler from the get-go. They, they, you know, they started that matchup on, on Maxi. And one way to look at it is you got a young player who's 23 years old. And I understand that young, young players have that grace period going into their first playoff uh, experiences. Um, but I think Maxie's in a little bit of a different situation where, yes, he's 23, yes, he's young, but he's the other guy. And Embiid is not 23. Embiid is 30 years old, and there's going to be growing speculation if the Sixers don't even get out of the first round about Embiid's future and how Daryl Morey's going to continue to build the roster. So Maxie actually has a lot of pressure as a young star to deliver so do you play 
some of the psychological factor of that and say, you know what, let's put OG from the get-go on him, put that strong physical presence right in front of him. Let's see if he can have a slow start. Because one of the things with Maxi too, when Maxi has a great night, he usually gets off to a fast start. One of these like young streaky players where they get going early, it could be a long night for you. So that's something to consider. The only other thing though is the Knicks have enough, you know, young bodies with Dante DiVincenzo, um, even Deuce, if you want to go off the bench to where Tibbs doesn't have to do that. But I think put it like this if this was Eric Spolstra, because Eric Spolstra is so into the mental and psychological part of the game, you would see OG to start the game. Uh, tomorrow against Maxi, but with Tibbs, he might start it traditional. Have OG Rome as a free safety to be able to help on Embiid coverages. GK, what do you think? Yeah, no, I I think I'm with Alex. I think it's just game one. You want to set the tone. They got the black hoodies on for a reason. Yeah, you gotta put Maxi in prison right away because we know what we're gonna do when it comes to Embiid. There's gonna be a lot of pressure, like we mentioned with uh, Hardenstein, Mitch, and all that. We're going to apply a lot of pressure to MB, which means that Max is going to be the next man up. And yeah, if you put OG Ananobi on him off rip, make make life difficult for him in the garden with the energy up. I think that um, to the point of JD, like that is the kind of like mental warfare that I think that this New York Knicks squad with Tom Thibodeau should just off rip, go right after. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that we, we, we don't think twice about it. I mean, yeah, there's the, the chance that Tobias Harris might remember how to shoot a ball against us or, you know, Kelly Oubre has that random 19 point game like he did last time we played them. But um, I like, look, I'd rather those guys figure out how to shoot than Maxi or Embiid, um, you know, getting their confidence game one in MSG. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm all for going OG right at them while everyone else is figuring out the Embiid situation and let what Lowry and, and Oubre try and, you know, kill us. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. CP, JD, Alex, CK in the building, the KFTV squad cast round table, man. A little, a little pep rally, if you will, as we get closer and closer to game one. Call us up with your thoughts on this one, 657-383-1509, or you can hit us up on the KFTV Discord. On tonight's show, we will also announce the winners of the tickets. We're sending two people to game one. So y'all better get with it, man. You do have enough time to uh to sign up go to underdogfantasy.com use our code kftv or hit the link in the video description to sign up and we will be pulling that winner in just a few minutes so make sure that you guys keep it locked because two people could be going to msg it's the hottest ticket in new york right now and and you got the hottest watch party in the city going on man and that is that sucker punch sucker punch is going to be on and popping we are already sold out in terms of online advanced ticket sales you can get a couple more tickets at the door but you got to come through early make sure you that you guys arrive early we also have table service available if you want to guarantee entry to the hottest thing smoke man shout out to our guy eric l beats who will be on the ones and twos once again so sucker punch is the place to be if you can't make it to Madison Square Garden. Shout out to Kane Marco, fellas. Ten dollars super chat. Said I see y'all four talking heads to represent the four wins coming in this series. I love it. Hashtag get the brooms out. Shout out to Kane Marco. Twenty dollars super chat from uh, Panatha for life. Says I think people in the chat need. To... Oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not sure like where this guy's going, man. Um, yeah, we're not. We're not reading that, man. I'm not, we're not reading that. All right. Anyway, man. On on the uh, on the maxi on the maxi and and OG situation, I would say because you got to look at it, you got to look at the lineups, right? They're going maxi, Lowry, Obre, you have Tobias, and then you have Embiid. Lowry's Brunson's drawn Lowry, right? You want the easiest assignment for for Brunson? That's Lowry. I think Tib starts off and takes his chances with Dante. You're gonna have help. And I, f- I forget which one of you guys said it. Having OG helping from either side is certainly going to be a strength of the Knicks. But the, also, you want to you want to make sure that Kelly Oubre is kept in check. You, you don't want him getting getting loose and getting cr- crazy, start blowing kisses in the crowd and all of that. Like you, you like you, you know what I'm saying? Because who who else are you going to put on? Unless you gonna unless you want to put Dante on him, then you're going to have Dante at a little bit of a height disadvantage. So I'm not sure Tibbs wants to put. All of his cards on the table by just going with OG in in the in the onset, and then you you can have a potential nurse adjusting to that 
And then there you have it. I think instead of having OG chase Maxi around and burn out his energy early in the game, you have him start off against Kelly Oubre, a guy who can be an erratic player. Yes, the offense is going to be dominated by Embiid and Maxi. You let Dante DiVincenzo get that assignment. Then in crunch time or in key spurts of the game, you you get you you get OB, OG to uh to 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 check Maxi. Who would you put OG on? Uh, so you're putting Josh Hart on Kelly Oubre. Yeah, I I, I have o, e, or or, or or even Tobias, one or the other. Hart, Hart's good on either matchup. Yeah, I, I think yeah, he's good on either matchup. If there's one thing that Hart struggles as a defender is against, uh, you know, smaller guards and players that can get to the rim. Sometimes, sometimes he he, he gets a little slow footed in terms of being able to keep them in front. Yeah, but Kelly Oubre is more, you know, sideline to sideline. Tobias as well. Um, they're not the fastest guys in terms of, you know, against Josh Hart, so he can do that. Um, and, w- w- yeah, it, it's it's going to be interesting. If you saw also, again, Spolstra used Jimmy Butler in those two roles. Um, you saw how many times there that Jimmy Butler was able to roam and get a steal, you know, through the passing lanes on Embiid one time where Embiid wasn't even looking at him um, because, it, you know, Spolstra put Butler in that position to free roam. O- OG is an artist at that when someone attacks the lane he he jumps into that lane yeah he puts his arm out there that's actually how he aggravated the elbow was because of that aggressive nature mm-hmm. and you can take advantage of that um and it, especially if Embiid is limited i mean being able to have og there is 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 going to be beneficial so um hopefully that that's the way that he goes True indeed, true indeed, man. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for your boys. CP, JD, Alex, and CK in the building. The squad cast is here, man. Let's uh let, let's circle through some of these sound bites, see what Hoodie OG has to say on this series, man. Let's he's locked in with the hood. Let's see what OG's gotta say here. Any anything good <laughs> here? Let's see. This is OG on uh Guardian and Bead at some point. I'm not sure. Maybe, I mean, I'm sure sometime during the series or in the game one or whatever game, I'll be guarding him. So just knowing his strengths and weaknesses and being prepared for that. Are you, are you interested All right. in guarding him straight up? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe, I mean, I'm sure sometime during the series or in the game one or whatever game, I'll be guarding him. So just knowing his strengths and weaknesses and being prepared for that. All right. So that was OG on Garden and Bede. Here is OG on Brunson. Um, I mean, I've always known Jalen was really good, and high school was really good, and college was with the Mavericks was really good. So it's really not a surprise. He's always been really good. It's just, I guess, uh, just up in the volume, I guess, for him. But yeah, he's always been a great player, so none of it's a surprise to me. That's OG on Brunson. What else? That's why I got in here. Is OG playing his first game? Oh, excited! You know, I've heard everyone tells me about how crazy it's gonna be. And I used to watch um, their games, like uh, growing up, and then even the last couple of years been watching their home games. So it's been crazy. So it'll be it'll be pretty cool to experience it firsthand. The dog unleashed at the garden tomorrow night. <laughs> Yo, it's gonna be crazy, man. Yo, and that's the, right. that's his type of that's his type of environment. Yeah. Like a, a player with his profile, a defender, because yeah. the, the the loudest. The crowd is going to chant his defense. Yeah, like yes, that's yes, what yes. makes the guarding rocking is yep. the 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 and then everybody just going crazy yelling yep. defense. Like the volume of that is going to be crazy, especially for a defender. That that's going to probably amp him up. And um, you 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 hope you hope the team doesn't come out. You know you you remember game three. You know everybody's so amped that next thing you know you're looking at the box show. They're three. Three for eighteen or something yeah, because everybody's yeah. trying to be the hero in the first yep. quarter. So if they can get over that energy and get off to a fast start, you know they they they'll they'll go on and win tomorrow. I see Triple M is in the building. Triple M is in the chat. You you got to call in, man. Triple M, we we got to hear from you, man. We we need to uh we, we need to get hype. I, I think all of us came in here on, on zero energy. We we starting to get into a groove. It's eleven o'clock. <laughs> On a Friday, we, we we need Triple M, man. If you're not outside, if you're inside, call us up, man. 657-383-1509. Or hit us up on the KFTV Discord. Let us know how you're feeling. Let's go to the phones. And uh, let's go to 732. 732. What's your name? Where are you calling in from? 
There he is. Dan, how you there not on the Discord is. tonight, man? What happened tonight? You switched it up on us, man. I did. I did. Uh, the iPad's going through some rough stints right now. But. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. All right. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I am extremely ecstatic to tell you guys the city of Philadelphia has done a lot for me personally, mm. but I'm not switching sides. Mm. I'm never switching sides. I'm riding with the Knicks tomorrow. You know, I'm I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure those defense chants, like you said, are gonna make OG go into like some kind of like ultra defensive bionic monster type level. Like he's <laughs> gonna come up with a deflection. The first three possessions is gonna be mayhem. Brunson is gonna hit a Brunson is gonna, gonna gonna hit a little pump fake in the in the lane and then do a little step through. Everyone's going to go crazy. I'm seeing it right now, guys. It's going to be great. Let's go. Uh, I'm I'm excited to head over to one of those watch parties. I can't go tomorrow. I'll try to go to game two. But okay. Listen, man, I'm pumped. Let's go. We're working on something in Philly, too, man. So I don't know if you're going to be in Philly or you're going to be in New York. But we're we working on something for uh, for Philly as well, game four. I'll probably be out there for game four. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. Yeah. All right, man. I'll let you boy, man. All right, see y'all. Yes, sir. Stan Dan from New Jersey, man. Uh, so we talked about OG. Who's your X factors in, in this series, man? JJD, I'll start with you. What do you what do you think, man? Who's your key to this series? The non Brunson, you know, we've been talking about Brunson at length. And obviously, I don't see it. all the talk is like how the Knicks gonna check MB. Nobody's talking about how the Phil how Phil's gonna check Brunson. I haven't heard mm. one article. Yeah. We, the we, shade. We, the shade continues. Nope. The shade continues, man. Well, low-key, though, his numbers are, aren't, are like, crazy against him. And so I, I am looking at that. You know, yeah. Oubre, you know, he Oubre did a very nice job against Hero. Yeah. You know, and and I actually think Ubre is gonna try to be the villain in this series. That's another yeah. side note. Yeah. When you look, yeah. when you talk about, you know, who's gonna be the the X factor for them, you know, you already see it. You saw it in that Heat game. Mm -hmm. he, you know, Spolstra wasn't happy with him. I think he's going to be the annoying opponent for Nick fans. Yes. Um. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, he does that on a regular day to day basis anyway. So that's not surprising. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, X factor. Wow. I feel like this Nick team has many that can be. Yes. Because it, it's just so many unknowns, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna say. Wow. I feel like I feel like one of you guys is gonna say Dante, so I'm gonna say mm -hmm. iHeart. I'm gonna okay. go with iHeart okay. in in the sense that iHeart iHeart's floater to me could be a major weapon mm. in this series. Um this could be the series where you see, you know, the development of that added move to, to his repertoire as a Nick and, and how he's developed that because of the limitations of Joel Embiid. Remember that game in January when the Knicks basically annihil annihilated them. iHeart played 30 plus minutes, was eight of nine for the field, had 17 points and five assists. Mm -hmm. That five assists and that 17 points is what I'm looking at. Do not be surprised if iHeart is averaging anywhere from 12 to 15 points in this series. So as long as Joel Embiid is limited and Brunson and him have a nice two man game where Brunson, you know, they're going to have to pick their poison. And with the way Joel Embiid has defended him in the past, with the way that he's been defending since he's been laboring, that's an added weapon in the middle of the court. That's also why I think he's going to get a lot of minutes so that they can, uh, you know, take advantage of that. And if he's able to make that shot consistently, I think that'll do wonders for mm. Brunson and everyone else uh, around the floor. So to me, I'm going to say Ahar, if he's able to stay on the floor – he expands the defense because, trust me, Nick Nurse will double and triple team Brunson at some point in this series, which means someone else in the middle of the court is going to have to make those type of restricted area shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one, man. CK, who's who's your guy to watch? Uh, there's a lot of answers. I think <laughs> JD hit that right. Like, there's 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 no wrong answer on who the X Factor could be. Um, I'm going to go with one uh, that I feel like is, is going to be a little less talked about. Alex is going to love this answer. But honestly, I feel like 
the X factor I'm going with is from a bench standpoint, Boyan Bogdanovich, because mm. we saw him start to show up a little bit with that second unit in the last few games going into the season. He started looking like the guy that a lot of Knicks fans for years were hoping that we would trade and get to boost our offense, uh, something that we desperately need, especially with that second unit. Um, I feel like Boyan Bogdanovich has, uh, if he just comes out, we, we look at the energy when he was making those uh, threes in that comeback yeah. uh, against uh, Chicago. You know what I mean? Like we were talking about the defense bringing energy, but you get a Boyan Bogdanovich three on a run in the garden, forcing a timeout, like that's going to be the kind of stuff yeah. that's going to also keep everybody juiced up. So I'm looking at him for that bench. Uh, it was between him and Deuce McBride for me. Dante's an obvious, but those yeah. two are the guys I was looking at. But I'm sticking with Boyan Bogdanovich because I feel like he hasn't been consistent enough to be like, all right, this guy's, you know what I mean? Which one are we going to get? We're going to get the guy that we we got at the trade deadline, or we're going to get the guy that we got the last few games. So I'm looking at him, man. He's going to be very vital for us off the bench. Yeah, and and I agree with that. And and um, it was also shared by someone in the chat that's saying that the Knicks bench is is an X factor because, look, Philly right. has, they have potential on, on some nights. I think there could be a night or two in this series where they, they could light it up offensively, uh, you know, with, with campaign on the wings, on the corners. Buddy Heald. Right, but he healed. And then obviously Batum. Batum going six to ten from downtown that game against Miami. Is he gonna do that every night? No, but certainly potential, especially with the amount of attention that you're gonna have to show Maxi and Embiid. Guys are gonna be wide open at, at some at some stretches. And so, yeah, you, you, you as as NBA professionals, there's gonna be nights where just like that Miami game where they're gonna catch fire from downtown, and that's what you saw in that fourth quarter in that game. Big fact. Sorry, TM threw me all the way off. He said, <laughs> he said Burks is the Y factor. Like, why is he on the team? <laughs> it just threw me. I, was, I wasn't ready for him. <laughs> it just threw me off. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, I agree with CK, and that's who was my X factor in last night's Game of the Week preview. It's Boyan Bogdanovich. Yeah. Um, just because you're going to need that another isolation score outside of Brunson, and he's going to be that for the bench. You're going to have OG, Josh Hart, Deuce, Mitchell Robinson, or Precious out there, and Boyan's going to be given those, given the green light to go make something. And, you know, if you want to take some positives away since he's been a Nick, two of his best, some of his best games have been against Philly. Like the first, his first game, he went eight of 13, got 22 points in 24 minutes, six of six from downtown. The game where it was just a stinker from the Knicks. He was the only guy that helped keep this team late uh, in the game, late in the third and fourth quarter. Went four of eight, got you 10 points, crucial 10 points. Didn't play well in the next game. Only had two shot attempts, went zero for two. But I think we can say that there's been more evidence as he's been successful against Philadelphia. Plus, as CK said, as the season has was coming to a close, mm -hmm. he showed that he could be a reliable score off the bench. But I'm going to go with Dante DiVincenzo since no one has said it. <laughs> go ahead. I'm going to say, and, and I know CP's probably going with Josh Hart somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I'm going to give Dante his shine because I think he does need a shine. Three-point shooting is going to be critical for this team, man. Look, he's going to be getting the kick out from whoever it is, whether it's Brunson, Josh Hart. He's got to knock him down. Yeah. And we've seen through parts of the season where – he hasn't been effective, and he's missed wide open, wide open shots, which are bunnies for him. But if he can just be that guy and make Philadelphia pay, because we know that Philadelphia, this is Nick Nurse. He's going to throw the kitchen sink defensively. We've seen that. We can go back to when he threw the box and one in the goal in the Golden State uh, Toronto series in that NBA Finals. He's not afraid to go zone. He's done that before, especially as a Raptors head coach. He utilized that against the Knicks. I'm sure we're going to see that too. He's going to test to see, can the Knicks be a consistent three-point shooting team? And if you're going to bust a zone outside of Brunson, who I'm not worried about making the proper reads, getting to his spots on the floor, it's everybody else. So Brunson's going to break that defense. Is somebody else going to be able to knock down that shot? Well, our best three-point shooter is Dante. He's going to have to show one. up this series and knock down those three. So I'm going with Dante DiVincenzo. It's a good one. Uh, just because CK had to choose my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping the main thing the main thing. I thought you yeah. would have been proud of me, Alex. I am I proud of you, but I'm a little jealous, man. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, 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 brown, say, the, I'll say this quickly. Yeah. The yeah. one thing with Big Don, I mean, last seven games, he averaged 10, almost 11 points, 46% from three. I just think... CP, tell me if you agree with this. I think Tibbs is actually going to have a short leash on him. 
Oh, with who? With Bogdanovich? Which, yeah. I yeah, agree. easily. Easily. Like, I agree. Like, like, I know he's played well. Again, 46% from three last seven games. And he's yeah. ended on a more positive note. But if, let's say, he comes out that first game and he struggles, he's not hitting shots, because, like, listen, even even though, like, when you play better, mm-hmm. the defense looks better. It just looks better because he's hitting shots. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. necessarily mean it's actually better. Um, if he's not giving – he's not going to give you anything else. Mm-hmm. If he's not hitting shots – I don't know that he's even going to get enough minutes to become the the X factor. Mm-hmm. So for him, he has actually the probably the most pressure as a role player. Yeah, because he has one one job, and that's just yeah. to come in and hit shots and be a spark. And if mm-hmm. he doesn't do that, I can actually see Thibodeau either pivoting to a precious versus a team that has a lot of forwards, or mm-hmm. yo cut this rotation to seven. I I I wonder with him. And this Philly matchup, is this the best matchup for him in terms of, you know, he's going to be a marked man when he's out there defensively, but who does Philly have that can potentially exploit his defensive liabilities, his defensive weaknesses, right? Like, I think it depends on the matchups and who's out there because usually when he is hunted, it's uh, it's a more powerful big or wing or a speedier wing that's trying to take him off the dribble and and take advantage of his lack of foot speed. He's a, he's an older player, obviously. But when you look at that Philly bench, yeah, it's it's Buddy Heal. They have some shooters out there. It's Batum. Like, where? How do they try to exploit Bogdanovich? That's what I'm going to be looking to see over the course of this series. Because if they don't necessarily have that advantage, then he's going to get more minutes. The more minutes he gets, more opportunities he's going to have to be aggressive and get us, get us some offense, which we will need over the course of this series and beyond. So I'm wondering of these matchups, whether it was Philly, Miami, you know, the potential Orlando matchup, like, is this the best one for him just in terms of being able to stay on the court? I think we just need, we're going to need the offense off the bench. I think that's just what it's going to come down to. We know Tim's going to run a, a tight uh, rotation and yeah. I think JD has a very good point. Uh, we <laughs> because of the defense liability, if the shot's not going in, we my X factor might be out the window. But at the same time, we gotta act, we we can't act like <laughs> you know Boyan Bogdanovich is a scrub. Like this dude has had some yeah. very clutch playoff moments in his career. Indiana, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. even with uh, Utah, like stuff like that. Like Boyan Bogdanovich is is a guy that could be very vital for us and which is why I look at him as an X factor cuz he's he's coming off the bench for us. He was True. starting on those teams. He's he, we have that luxury of him coming off the bench to give us that offense that we know that there's going to be times we're going to need it cuz they're going to play us pretty tough defensively. But if JD brings up a good point, man. I'm this is definitely the kind of uh series where if that shot's not going down, we know his defense ain't going to be that uh helpful. Maybe Precious comes in, then he can lock up uh, Paul Reed so he can shut him up. Number one show for the fans by the fans is on and pop advance. Salute to everybody in the chat once again. Hit that like button. Hit the share button. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I'm up, man. We, we good right now, man. 30 minutes into the show. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm woke back. Up finally. Oh, I'm back, man. I'm, I'm back, bro. <laughs> I, I, I was in the bunker for the last three days making sure everybody was getting their merch and everything like that, man. I, it was, it's been a long week, man. I, I promise you guys great content. We gave the people great content. But I paid a heavy price for it, and I've been going three days to make sure that uh, that the people got their merch. But we up. You know what I'm saying? We, we up and at it right now. So call us up, right. 657-383-1509 is the number to call. Or you can hit us up on the KFTV Discord. We're going to announce the winner of the Game 1 tickets. We're giving away two tickets to Game 1, so make sure that you guys uh, stick around for that. And also... We want to salute one of our sponsors of tonight's show, man. This episode is brought to you guys by the spring cleaning champions, Manscaped. This season, make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes with the leaders in below-the-waist grooming. Clear out the winter bush with Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and watch your confidence bloom for the springtime flowers. Embrace the season and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our special offer. You guys know the deal, man. Go to manscaped.com, use our code KFTV, for 20% off plus free shipping. Okay. Back to it, man. You're like a Model T, CP. You, know, yeah. you just need to, you know. Just take a little while. <laughs> it takes a little while. Yeah. I was, I was, <laughs> like I was, a jalopy. You know uh, what I mean? Like I, was, a, I was telling you on the pre show, uh, you, you know, I, I usually try to get my naps in. I haven't got one in in, in a while. Like I said, the past three <laughs> days, I, I've been going crazy. Wow. Good. You haven't got a nap for the past three days. Bro, yeah, man. It, yeah, it's crazy. So, so. First off, we were supposed to start the show at 
and then I bumped it to mm. 10, and then I bumped it to 10.30. That's how tired I was. So in the, in the 9.30 to 10 window, right, the 9 to 10 window, I call, I call my sushi spot up, make an order. I'm like, mm. all right, let me, let me awesome. get my old man in right now, my nap in. When the guy rings the doorbell, I'll be up. That'll be my alarm, 30, 45 minutes. I wake up at like 9.35, have no idea where I'm at, completely delirious, all right? <laughs> it's one of those deep, deep sleeps. Like, I'm in Inception, yeah. like the third, fourth, fifth level, fighting crime. <laughs> so I, I get out of it startled. I'm in my own house, like, yo, what's going on? Where am I? You know what I'm saying? Where did I get here? Yeah, where did I get here? Where's my food at? My man came through, rang the doorbell, left the food outside. That's how, that's how sleep I was, bro. Completely missed it. But either way, man, we, we here. We we made it, bro. We made it. Man. Well, at least you don't swipe man. your food. Sheesh. Well, yeah. Facts. Yeah, that, you got that, sushi. That is yeah, true. Yeah, for real. That 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 is for true. Real. Yeah, it was one of those nights, man. And it was it was a sushi night, sushi Friday night, man. All right, let's uh let's get to the phones. Doc on the Discord. Doc, go ahead and unmute your mic. Doc, Doc, are you there? Hello, hello, hello. You hear me? Loud and clear, sir. How you feeling, man? You ready to go or what, man? Oh man, ready to go is yeah. one way to put it, man. First of all, shout out you guys and appreciate yeah. everything y'all do. Y'all get me through my days at work, so I appreciate yeah. the content. You always never lacking with content. Now, now appreciate it's what we call money time. You know what I'm saying? You know it. This is the time. I mean, I just think in a long time I'd be able to see um, the Knicks go to the playoffs consecutively without having to work. You know, I was we were sitting at the end of the season. We were sitting pretty. You know, I, I obviously it was it was close, but. Now it's really like time to really lock in, and I, I just can't believe we're really like Eastern Conference Finals bound. You know, looking like obviously oh, we, take, man, we you, don't want to look too far. You, you I, ain't I, even, I've been telling all my friends the, that we're, we're going to the finals. Start, like man. I, I you, love you this team. I really do. Last year we were talking about New York. We were the New York Bricks. Okay, the three point shot was really what was killing us. We couldn't find the bottom of the basket when it came from outside the uh, on the perimeter, and now you looking at. The ability that Jalen Brunson has to kick out, especially with Randall missing, who an OG, a guy who could spot up shoot, yeah. Dante, Josh Hargis, that thing going, you know, he's not so forced to or kind of relied on to hit the three as much. Obviously, we will need him to. You just brought up Bojan. Um, it's just we have options and mm. and an I hearts floater as well. We're not living and dying by the three. And we have that now yeah. in our back pocket. So we're not so one dimensional as a team. So I'm just really yeah. excited to see where this Knicks team can take can take themselves, and like I said, I really yeah. yo let, I we take like we taking everybody out yeah. for real. Like I'm here for it. But, but Vegas is saying otherwise, man. What do you think about that? Vegas saying otherwise, man. No, I don't, no, I, no, I don't no, care no what, what Porter, Vegas man. has to say. I don't care what Vegas has to say. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't know if you you guys have uh have watched um uh Jalen and and Josh's podcast a little bit, but I love. Yeah. Whenever it brings up the fact that everybody on that team has been doubted a little bit, yeah, and he, like keep keep doing it, like keep doing that, like keep doing that to us. It only fuels us better. It only makes me hungrier. It only makes that team get, get crazier. That crowd is gonna be electric. I'm so hyped to see the Garden in the playoffs. If I win these tickets, I'm going sick. <laughs> you already know. Like <laughs> let's just go. Let let. Oh baby, I'm. Oh my gosh, it's playoff time, man! It's playoff time. Doc, Doc is hype. Let's go, Doc. Let let him know, man. Let yeah. let, let him know. Salute to nah, Doc. Nah, you have no idea. Shout yes, out, sir. you guys. I hope I get to tap in a little more often. I've been training a little bit with MMA, so I haven't oh, been yeah? able to be around. So, but hopefully, nice. I'm gonna be here tapped in for the playoffs. Let's go, Nick. Nice. Let's take it to the final. What, 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 Let's go. Let's what, go. What'd you think about the MMA talk the other night? Me and Al was going in, man. I, I was repping you. I was repping you, man. Sport, man. What'd you I, think, man? There was a lot to talk about. There's a lot yeah, to yeah, talk yeah, about. Yeah. Three hundred was was a spectacle, man. Yeah. Oh man, three hundred was insane. Three hundred was good. Uh, Holloway's yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Holloway but, with the with the yeah, buzzer man. beater, one hitter, quit the buzzer beater. Good night, the beater. lights. And then the the Pajeda said, "Let me cook. Let me man. cook." Man. Yeah. Hopefully we can get Jalen Brunson to cook too with that left hand. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? So bring that knockout power. Let them all, all right, out of here. Get them all, right, all up out of here. One, Philly, one. get out of here. Yeah. Milwaukee, get up out of here. Let's go. Boston. He's ready to fight right now. Listen to him. He's Let's ready to go. fight right now. I am, bro. Let's I've go. been sparring. I've Let's been, go. been we're ready. <laughs> all right, you know what? You know what? Since, since you said that, fighters, since you real. said that cut, you, meet, meet me in Philly, man. I'm pr I'm bringing you to the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in I'm in CT. I'm in CT. Hopefully I'll pull I'm trying to pull to one of these watch parties. Are we out here? Let's go. Just jump in the Amtrak. Meet me in Philly. All right, cool. That's what this fan base is. We're a bunch of dogs. Let's go. Let's go.
Doc got me hype, man. Let's go. Let's, <laughs> Let's go. go. Salute, man. Stay up. Stay up, Doc. All right, man. Gibby Gibb said CP doubted 300. It was fine. Not 300 was good. I just said it was lacking the star power, which it was. It was, you know, it didn't have your household yeah. names, but it was yeah. good. It was good. And if you wanted to see good fights, I thought all the fights were pretty good. Zhang Wei Li uh, uh, went in, but um, nah, it was because 300 was definitely good. And then right after that, Dana White gets on the podium. He's like, yeah, we got Connor fighting the next fight. <laughs> he brings out the star power for 301. But, you know, it just is what it is. Some guys are available. Some guys are hurt. It is what it is. Shout out to Sun from Brooklyn. Send out Super Chat says PCP, Alex, JD, and CK. Let's shut the haters up like Draymond Green and ESPN Knicks in six. Let's go, man. JD, what I tell you about that Draymond stuff this morning, man? JD sent me the Draymond clip, but I said... Family show, Draymond. <laughs> he ain't checking, checking for that. We already know what that's about. You know what I mean? That's a, the you same definitely Draymond did. that's not even in the playoffs, bro. What are we doing here? We, we already know Draymond just trying to tap into the algorithms and, and, and be relevant. Bingo. Like, man, go sit your ass down somewhere. Bingo. Y'all are done. It's a wrap for Golden State. Bingo. Yep. Speak, speaking of that, what'd you think about the Paul Reed stuff? Oh, well, let's play it. The great segue. Don't mind if I do, man. I got you, man. I'm right. I got you. Right. I told you I'm ready, man. I told you I'm ready to go. I told you I'm ready to go. 45 minutes into the show. Let's go, man. Let's get activated. All right. Here, here's Paul Reed. He's awake. Here's Paul Reed. Here is Paul Reed. Had to say. Here we go. This is uh, for Running Back Podcast. We'll face the Knicks in the first round. Was there multiple conversations how we want to get this win to play, to match up with the Knicks? Are you confident in that, Knicks? And was it more that, or was it more to avoid the Boston Celtics in the first round to make this game so important last night? No, nah, man. I mean, I feel like we ain't ducking no smoke, but, yeah, we wanted the Knicks match up. Of course, uh, that's the easier team, I guess. But, you know, it's going to be fun. You know, we match up pretty well with them. They got a great guard. We got a great guard. We also got Joel, you know, MVP. So, you know, like you mm. said earlier, he's one of the most unstoppable guys in the in the league right now. So, we, they're going to have to send triple teams, and he's going to get everybody that's involved, I'm sure. Oh, you guys now. I, so, you see how... You see how in, in this in this clip, how when he said uh, it's the easiest te- easier team, I guess. You see how he's kind of like gritting his teeth. I, I, I think he he started to regret it right at that point. Like his like, media, <laughs> his media training started to kick in. Like, oh man, my PR guy is oh, gonna man. get on me for that, man. I should have said that, man. I should have said that. So I think he instantly regretted it. But uh, I love it, man. I love it. You, you, this is this is the time. Let's go. Let's go. A man that's averaging four points is talking the most. For yeah. Philly. Mm. You love, yeah. Uh, you love to see it. Hey, that's bulletin board material right there. You know when you play pickup and there's just some scrub that's talking uh, above their weight class, and you're like, we got to put them back in their place? Yeah. So I feel like the Knicks are about to come out. Love that. They're just going to say, you know what, Paul Reed? You, 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 you think we're easy? All right, man. Why don't you go see, back over there, sit on the bench a little bit? CK, you think that's something or that's much about nothing? Uh, I think, like you were saying, with Kelly Oubre being the villain, I think they over there trying to yeah. poke the bear a little bit. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's anything else. Like, like CP hey. said, when you listen to it like the second or third time, you hear him start to backpedal when he starts to act like he puffing <laughs> his like, chest out a little bit. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, nah, he, he trying to act tough coming into the guard. Now, it'll be a nice humbling tomorrow if we can get a big win. I'll tell you it, that much. It, here's my other perspective on that is, you know, if I'm – if I'm a Knicks player, I'm taking that as extra motivation. And and here's here's why. Because, you know, some fans are saying, oh, that's not nothing, blah, blah, blah. Like, or the people that are saying, well, he did tell the truth. Yeah, but it, it's about how you say the truth. Mm, yeah. And also, to me, he went out there and said that. Guess what? The way he said it, you know what that tells me? Joel Embiid thinks the same thing. Tyrese Maxey mm-hmm. thinks the same thing. So while we can make fun of it and say, well, it's Paul Reed that says it, it doesn't mean anything, he's in that locker room. And sometimes these are the guys that go out there and tell you what everybody else is thinking, but because they say it, it doesn't become such big news. So to me, if I'm a Nick competitor, I'm thinking, oh, that's how y'all all feel. This yeah. is not just Paul Reed that's saying that. This is Joel Embiid that's saying that. This is Nick Nurse. This is the organization. You don't think that happens? Why do you think the Cavs tank? They tank yeah. because they want to get a first-round win 
so that they can go to Donovan Mitchell and say, hey, yep. we're a little closer. <laughs> we're, a <laughs> yeah. we're a good team. We're a good team. Right? Yeah. Everybody knows <laughs> no, we weren't going to beat the Celtics. But, hey, we got a first-round series. We're closer. Stay with us. So, yeah. to me, if I'm a Knicks player, I'm like, okay, that's how y'all all feel. That's how the locker room feels. Definitely yeah. is. Is is more motivation. Michael Jordan used to Let's, use creative ways mm. like that to self motivate. I think you know the Knicks will do that as well. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You know who's self motivating? And you know who Paul Reed's gonna be seeing out there? My guy. He logged off the Snapchats. He logged off the TikToks, the Rick Rocks, all of that. He said, "I'm locking in. Blockness is going to be ready." Trust and believe. My guy Mitchell Robinson is going to take it. It's taking him a little while to ramp up. He is going to be back and ready to go. So Paul Reed, he's talking all that talk. He's going to be out there with my boy Bacchus Monster. Goblin boards. Dominating on the glass. Let's go. I'm ready, man. Let, let's go. Man. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, I'm hype. Mitch, I'm hype. I'm hype. we are ready, man. But uh, here, here was uh, here was iHeart's comments, and you know some some of the responded, but I like how they handled it. Here, here was iHeart on on uh, his I mean, comments. It's his thoughts at the end of the day. I mean, we're focused, focused on what we got to do. Um, I think that's that's what podcasts kind of do. They just make sure they get you comfortable, and then people just say. Sh- so um, mm. Mm. Um, at right. the end of the day, we're focused on us. Um, whatever comments they have, they have. But um, we're focused on our team. We're focused on um, just getting better every day and getting focused for the six. I mean, Let's go. Uh, ah, there, there he is. is. Let's go. How about, how about what Josh Hart said? I don't even know yeah. if you can oh, put I'm, it on the show. I'm gonna pull that was it up. I'm going to pull, pull it up. It, it's yeah. late night. We, we can go yeah. KFTV after hours here. Let's hear, okay. Uh, let's hear it's, the it's, it's the playoffs. It's, it's like a movie. Yeah, yeah, Hart Hart rock, one. Everyone's yeah. rocking black. It's a for, different for type of content. It's the playoffs. That's it, man. Let's hear Josh Hart, man. Go ahead, Josh. Oh, that that was Hart on Tibbs. Where's the Hart on... I'm trying to find someone on SNY videos right now. Where's the Hart joint? Okay, is this it? S and Y still waiting on the okay yeah. to post it. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't give a fuck about what he said. <laughs> I, I, I could really care less. I guess, mm. you know, mm. that, that, I don't care. Let's go. Let's run it back. I don't give a fuck about what he said. I, I, I could really care less. I Let's guess, go. You know, that, that. Come on, man. Everybody's rocking black. Brunson rocking black. See what I'm saying? OG yeah. rocking black. Heart rocking black. He ain't even got his hair braided. We getting grimy out here, man. It's a yeah. grimy practice. The Tibbs is getting these guys ready, man. We ready, yeah. man. You see what I'm saying? How they know, they, they tell you what the message is, but in a different way. Yeah. The way that he, he didn't, why did he have to curse? Why? Think about <laughs> right. it. Think about, think about when, if you were to respond to me and I'd be like, CP, blah, blah, blah. You'd be like, I don't yeah. give a f- yeah. Why, why you got to respond like yeah. that, CP? What, 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 is there something going yeah. on? What's your why is that, your energy like that? That was yeah. that was my that energy towards Draymond this received. morning. We got game one coming up. We got game <laughs> one coming up, man. You know exactly. So that tells me they heard it. They know about it. You also see received. Isaiah Hartenstein trying to work the refs with yes. saying that Embiid is going to get easy foul. That's another clip. That's oh, I love it. Yeah, I, I, I said he it. took a page out of the Phil Jackson Phil Jackson book. book. I Absolutely. Love it. Yes. So Knicks look ready, man. Let's go. Let, let, I'll let, say that the most locked in though was Brunson. You yes. just look at you just saw him yeah. at the presser. He looked locked Ho- in. Hoodie Brunson is is locked in, man. Yo, he, did you read focused. the Players Tribune? Because you see how that last play against in Game Six against Miami, still living with him to this day. Yeah, you know he's thinking about that at this at the podium. Like, nah, we we cannot make any mistakes. Yeah. We're going in here. We're going to execute, and we're going to take it to Philly. All right. Yeah. And th- look, this this is the moment to show. Not only Knicks Nation, but the rest of the NBA world where Brunson is ranked wise, right? Because everyone's, we all talk about, it. everyone's talking about, it. oh, Embiid, MVP, MVP, MVP. And, and Brunson's getting some MVP recognition towards late in the season. But you go out there and you go knock the Philadelphia 76ers off in the first round, which everyone's giving them sports books. Yeah. Everyone's saying, oh, you know, oh, this is the matchup that you want. The Knicks, they're not fully healthy. Crazy. If Brunson does Crazy. that, it takes him into a whole other stratosphere of a superstar. We're talking top 10 at this point. It should. New it York. should. I ain't going to give the, the media that much credit, but it should. To your point, it should. It, it should. Hey, the marketing, the pod, yeah. everything he's doing 
is catching up. Yeah. Top 15. He cracked the t- – I couldn't believe it. He cracked the top 15 in jersey sales in the second half. Mm. Yeah. There you that's, go. That's that's that's, that's a big, big deal. That's, that's to me, the bro. kids. That's the kids. That's the kids. Yeah. That's their core audience. Bro, Guys. you saw that list? Like – all the players that he actually jumped, like, right. are players that a year ago, two seasons ago, like Brunson couldn't even be close to to being over those yeah. players in and a he's year. In the top fifteen in a year. So he has a nice playoff run. You're talking next year. Forget about voting. He's going to be an automatic All Star starter. Like when you have a playoff run now, this is his opportunity. Because I've been saying everything is building. Last year he didn't get it. I say he'll do it this year. Whatever this year, he'll get it. It's like he's building his own resume and his own worldwide national reputation. Yeah. Where you get the benefit of the doubt, where, you know, going into this year, it was Trey Young and it was all these guys that got the benefit of the doubt and look where they are now. Yeah. Bye as bye, Trey. To Brunson. Bye bye, Trey. They're about to throw him out like Jazzy Jeff out there in the A. Bye bye, Trey. <laughs> I, can't, I guarantee they, they Landry Fields is going to hand the keys to DeAndre, DeAndre DeJounte. Right. DeJounte, yeah. And send Trey packing. I, you know I think how that, lucky he's over. You, you know how lucky we are to have Brunson? After the Hawks were eliminated, I saw a lot of tweets on Twitter with Trey Young in a Nets jersey. But that's <laughs> what they're hoping. <laughs> oh, man. So, I'm it's thinking, so cool. I'm, I'm looking at that, I'm like, yo. Yo, we're lucky we got bro, Brunson, bro. Straight, <laughs> straight up. Absolutely. Something from Brooklyn said facts, JD. Shout out to Aiden Wilson. All of our franchise channel members in here says, like the video. Y'all takes it on point. Somebody else in here said, oh, we got the KFTV Mount Rushmore in here. Yeah, it's playoff time, man. It, it is playoff time. I told you we're not playing around with the content. Number one show for the fans by the fans is on and popping. All of our franchise channel members, throw an emoji in the chat. Throw a custom emoji in the chat. A, a CK, a JD, a Alex, a CP emoji in the chat. Let us know that you guys are in here. And we're going to get back to the phones, man, because I threw the bat signal out there, and these guys have responded appropriately. Triple M in the building. Let's make sure hey. your microphone is working. Triple M. Yo, yo, y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? Loud and clear, sir. Let's go. Talk that talk. We here. Let's get it. Let's get it. I got to drop the flex bomb. We got go. all four of the Avengers in the building. Got the flex <laughs> bomb in the background. Yes, sir. What's going on, my brothers? Twas the night before opening night in the playoffs. Triple M has already tried on 10 sweaters. He don't know which one he's going to wear tomorrow. <laughs> we have no Meek Mills playing. We have no Lil e- Uzi Vert playing. We play straight Drake back to back. We play mm-hmm. the Bad Bunny version of I Just Want to Rock. We doing it all right now, fellas. If y'all could allow me to drop a PSA, though, I got to drop a PSA for the thousands of people on Knicks Fan TV right now. I'm hearing a lot of people, I'm trying to get to the watch parties. I want to get to the watch parties. Let's Listen. Go. Triple M is telling you, yeah. you got to get to the live parties. Go on your mm-hmm. Instagram, your NYC Instagram. Yeah. Check it out. See how we did last year, Tr- CP. We shut yeah. the place down. We oh, literally we shut, shut down 4040. We, we shut it it down. doesn't even we exist down. anymore. Yeah. After KFTV watch parties. Yeah, they say, talk yeah, we, we, we can't have this place open. Yeah, y'all are crazy, you Knicks fans. So, yeah, <laughs> that's basically how that went, man. So, wait, you, wait, so wait, you coming to Sucker Punch or, or, or uh, you going to the game? No, I got that. I got you hear me? I'm yeah. Cut off a little. Nah, you heard me good. Right. Go nah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be at the game tomorrow. So sucker punch, we are gonna have to hold Let's it down go. for the game throw, game three, or oh, oh, KFT Road Warriors CP. Road I Wars. need the bad signal. You know Triple M is waiting. Game what are four. we doing in Philly? I conduct a lot of business in Philly. I suspended all business in Philly, yeah. so we take care Ooh, of business yeah. here in NYC. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, game yeah. four. Game four, we popping, man. It's me, you, and uh, and Doc. We got the MMA fighter coming with us, man. So we good. I don't even got to go to the army store and strap up. We got Doc, man. He's a black man. Stay stay We're less. straight. But listen, man. Look, New York, we got to play with pace. We got to push that pace. Joel Embiid, they talking about he's 80%, so he's really 60%. So we got to take it. 48 minutes of nonstop running. We got the guy, Jalen Brunson, the superstar. Let's I'm go. hearing an Allen Iverson type of run mm. to the NBA Finals. You Allen heard it here Iverson. first from Triple M. Let's go. Allen Iverson, Finals run from Jalen Brunson. Who, who, you already know Triple finish. M, the best who, Who's your X Factor? Lit. Give us your X Factor. Give us your X Factor. X Factor, it got to be Mitch and Iheart, man. We, okay. gotta, we, we got the MVP on the other side who was playing like the MVP before he got hurt. So our X Factor, Mitch and Iheart. That's that's 12 fouls right there. That's 12 mm. fouls. Beat the guy up. Beat the guy up. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go, man. Triple M in the building. I'll see you at the garden, my G. Hit me up tomorrow uh, so, we, so we can definitely link up when we get there, man. 
Yeah, you know, you know, I don't have to hit you up. You gonna find me. You gonna find me. <laughs> we we always end up running into each other at some point, anyway, you right? That's crazy, me, That's man. Facts. I don't gotta hit you up. You know, Triple yeah. Eleven's gonna be out there. You gonna find me, man. Salute to the God. Let's go. CK JD, the Fifty Burger still cooking, and my brother hey. Alex and CK. You already know the vibe. Triple M in the building. Throw some fives in the chat. That's what we needed, man. We needed Triple M to get in here and uh, and lay down a sermon, man. Shout out to Triple M. Salute to everybody in the chat once again. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys. CPJD, Alex, CK. We are in here, man. A couple hours away from game one. Let's go. As Triple M said... Uh, the watch party, man, well, NYC watch party, because we got a lot going on. We are coast to coast with the watch parties this year. For those of you in the city, tri-state area, sucker punch the online tickets. If you're looking for online tickets, they are sold out. We sold free tickets. We sold paid tickets. They are all sold out. You can get tickets at the door, but you have to come early. Table service is also available. That will get you front row in front of the big screen. And also, you know, your food, your bottles, whatever the case may be, whatever you guys are into. We got plenty of that. So make sure that you guys uh, inquire accordingly and get there early. Get there early. Now, for our West Coast Knicks fans, 33 taps in Silver Lake is where you want to be, man. Shout out to my guys, Jesus Knight. Shout out to Dre. Shout out to the Gov, the Left Coast Knicks crew. 33 taps at Silver Lake. That's uh, 375, 3725 West Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. That is where it'll be. That'll be at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So make sure you guys go out there for our West Coast squad. South Florida, we got y'all covered, man. Black Market, Bayside in Miami, where we were at a couple weeks ago where we had the KFTV meetup. So to our South Florida Knicks fans, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Pompano Beach, wherever you guys are at, West Palm, everybody link up at Black Market Bayside. That is at 401 Biscayne Boulevard in Miami. And those that uh, that event will kick off at five o'clock. So we, we got you guys covered. Obviously, we know that New York, California and Florida are our key hubs in terms of where most of our Knicks fans are at. And then, you know, when we put the watch parties out there, people in H-Town was like, yo, we need an H-Town party. We need an Orlando party. So give us some time. We're going to make it happen, man. This is going to be a city-to-city event uh, as we keep building this thing out. So keep rocking with us, and we will keep knocking this thing out the park. So you you guys have your, um, your agenda for the series. And there we go. Angelo, $20 Super Chat says, we are overthinking this. Villanova <clears> Knicks <throat> loading. Dante DiVincenzo shooting the lights out. Playoff Josh Hart, triple header monster. And Brunson will muscle his way through the W. Holy Trinity wins this series in five. What do you guys think, man? Five? Yeah. ZK believes. Oh. <laughs> Let's in go. Five? Let's go. I'm going six. I'm going, I'm going six as well. I'm going. That's six. the right answer, but I'm going with five because I'm out the window. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going six, man. Out the window. I'm with the chat. <laughs> I see kids out here. We are. I'm, I'm here crowd surfing, bro. We out here, man. We in <laughs> five. I'm I'm, 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 I'm sipping the juice. I'm here, bro. Let's out go, five, man. Let's you, go. I'm here. I'm with. I'm with the chat. You know we what's so here. so weird about the whole betting thing and the Knicks not like the Knicks are the favorite tomorrow to the money line to win the game. The Knicks and the Sixers are basically neck and neck for the series. And then somehow the Sixers are ahead of the Knicks for the East. Like It doesn't make much sense to me because you would think the way it's setting up, if the Knicks can win this first round, I mean, let's see, but the Pacers, I mean, does it look like it's looking like the Pacers? No. I mean, can the, can, yeah. can the Bucks? Bucks can, are in all sorts of trouble, man. Man, yeah, yeah. Dame, can the Dame Bucks beat a Pacer team that is going to up the tempo in the playoffs, even though it's playoff basketball? They're going to still try to yeah. go against conventional wisdom. And, yeah. and I mean, it's, how how are the Knicks not higher in terms of the odds? It, it just the whole math is not math. It don't me. math. Yeah, I'm yeah. with you on that for sure. What do you guys think? If, if their favorite game won, I think the percentage is like 78% of the yeah, time. 60, it's 64%. If you wow. win, if you win game one, you're sixty four percent likely to win this. Hello. Do we, do what we, are we winning? Oh, oh, did we lose Al? We lost him in the Vegas matrix. Got him. Vegas him. got him. Vegas got him. Vegas got him. Relax. We, we lost Al in the matrix. You good? Yeah, you're back. You're back. He's back. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, oh, Vegas got right. you, bro. Sixty four percent. Like I said, 
If you win game one, wow. most of the time it's 64% of that the, of the winner goes on to win the series. Mm. So it doesn't make any sense to what JD's saying that, for not what he's saying, but like what he's reading off based on, like, like based on what Vegas is saying, that Knicks are favored to win game one, but the Sixers are favored to win the East. That just doesn't make any sense. They have yeah. to win game one to have that type of favorite, to yeah. be that type of favorite. Interesting. Interesting. All right, man. Let's get uh, let's get some more calls up. While we get the calls up, I'm going to pull the roster from Underdog. Who is going to game one? You're going to find out in just a couple minutes, man. 540. What's your name? Where are you calling in from? <clears throat> Yo, this is Chris, man, from Virginia. What's good with y'all boys? Yo, Chris, man. What's good, bro? <clears throat> Nothing much, man. I'm just, you know, looking in my closet. Pulling up to Game Four in Philadelphia, man. You mm. boys, uh, you boys going? That that is the plan. Um, you know, still TBD, but that is the plan. I'm gonna try to get out there Sunday, one o'clock in Philly. So yeah, it, it sounds like it could be a, a, a New York. It could be Madison Square Garden, uh, South a little bit <laughs> or a little further south, if you will, okay. because every Knicks fan and their mom is headed there for for um for Game Four, and I'm hearing that tickets are are pretty available. So yeah. Real. Yeah. Yep. yep. Did, did you get your? Did you ticket? Yesterday, you man, got I'm your just, tickets off Ticketmaster I'm, or secondary market? Yeah, I got them off Ticketmaster. Yep. Okay. Yep. Just wondering, just looking at my closet, just wondering what jersey should I wear, man? I got the mellow. We got the J Kid, the Gallinari. I mean, the, the throwback Stoudemire, throwback Ewing. What well, you know? Yeah. what I'm saying? I'm just wondering, what should I pull up? And I go, I go Ewing and mellow. Which which color Ewing? Which season? Uh, what the, season? The, bl- the blue, the blue with the black sides, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, and I got that I one. I got the home classic, then the home classic white mellow. Mm, you Ooh. can't, you can't go wrong, man. What do you guys think? Yeah. What do you guys think in the chat, man? I love the home jerseys, man. Yeah. So that, yeah, that, that, I like that. I like the blue with the black stripe, blue and black. They, stripe. They're going with, with the home whites you know, tomorrow, top, right I'm here. Thinking we going mellow, baby. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, well, you th- you you want this for game four, right? Or is this four, your, is this yeah. your game one joint? Yeah, four. Yeah, I'm pulling up from so game then, four. You know, I'm originally from New York. Yeah, but I moved to VA, so you know, you know, I got it. This, this actually gonna be my first Knicks game. Okay. Wow, that's wow. a great first game. Wow, yeah. golly, playoff. First, Good for you, first man. First Knicks game, playoff, baby. We going into golly. a hostile environment. Let's go. We ready? Let's go. What? Uh, we what? Ready. What section? What section? I mean, you know, we, 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 you know, we, you know, we're a little high, but we're, we're like a 210, 210 okay. Oh man, God, you know, but we, you know, I got the binoculars, you know. Yeah, yeah. If you got the right phone, the zoom is actually really good. Hey, oh my God, CK. Let's go, go, CK. He's he's taking the tools. He's going to repair the roof. Let's go. Let's go. Well, listen, man. (laughs) However, you get it in, it's going to be a great experience. And and if we make it there for game four, stay tuned. Hopefully, we can link up, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Salute to y'all, boys, man. The big. The big KFTV Big Four, you heard? Yes, Salute sir. BC, you heard? Salute, fam. Smack Salute. That like button. Salute. Salute. Drive safe. Drive safe, man. That's, That's right. always That's the right. funniest question when you ask him, well, yeah, I'm going to the Yankee game. And you ask him, like, so, yeah, so where you sitting? If Once you hear a pause, <laughs> they don't want to tell you. They don't want to tell you. They don't want to tell you, right. <laughs> They're going to be like, mind like, It's like they thinking, should I yeah. say my actual seat? Yeah. Or yeah. Or I just take the closer. Not it look <laughs> my oh, my actual seat oh. where I actually be watching the game from. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my man said, you know. <laughs> Oh, hey, man. man. Hey, it's playoffs, man. Um, hey, some prices. Prices be pricing. You know, a lot of people felt like the garden <laughs> was, was taxing. Pricing, he says. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, let me let me make a stat correction because I just did a little yeah. research. I, I read the wrong thing. So, JD's right. It is 75.6% mm. according to a 2022 article. Wow. If you win game one, you're likely to win the series. Four, it, the record right now is 433 wins. To 140 mm. and, 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 and oh, that's wow, a 2022 that's i think yeah. by now it's actually closer to 78 yeah wow that's the crazy, one i went read before that was 2014 <laughs> that is that yeah. is crazy man that is crazy all right one more call and then we, we'll get to the winner got the rosters here about to randomize this thing jonah rose jonah rose go ahead and uh and unmute your mic can you, you guys hear me yep loud and clear man what's your name where you calling in from man 
Hey, how you guys doing? Uh, I'm calling in from Tampa, actually. First time calling in, so pretty Tampa. excited. Tampa. Okay. All right. There you go. How you doing? Jamba. I'm doing pretty good, man. Listen, I'm just, I called in to tell you guys how ecstatic I am for this first round. And I'm going to tell you why. Let's go. Talk about I it. cannot believe that the Knicks win 50 games. I cannot believe that Jalen Brunson has an all-time Knicks season. I cannot believe that DiVincenzo scores or uh, sets an all-time record for threes in a single season for Knicks, for the Knicks. I can't believe mm. that we do every, that we have the grittiest defense in the league, that we're the most physical team in the league, and we're still looked at like a sleeper team. Like that mm. is just bugging me and irking me to the core because I believe with every fiber of my being and yeah. my heart that we're going to beat this Sixers team and people are going to, the league is going to get put on notice. That's what I believe. I'm so ecstatic to see this game tomorrow, game one. Um, and as far as X Factor is concerned, I, believe it or not, I really think that we're going to need a lot of bench uh, production in this series. Sure. And Bogdanovich is getting hot at the right time. At the right time. I think he's going to come off the bench and he may have, EP, he may have that Knicks home game that he has yet to have, yeah. I think. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. waiting for his nickname. You, you know what I mean? He, right now, he's just a bird's nest. But he could be Bodega. Oh, what? He oh, could be Bodega. Wow. Okay. My God. If, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. You guys didn't like you guys didn't like that. Okay. No, he's just, he's just no. a bird's nest right now, man. It's a bird's no. nest. Coming from the guy from the Burks hive, he's, this, he's, is, this is mm -hmm. rich. Funny, mm -hmm. bro. Funny how the expectations change once one guy got out of the rotation. Mm. It's it's a, it's a nickname. I, I didn't say he was bumming it up. I just said he's a bird's nest. He's he's balding in the back. What, what, oh, what do you want me to do? Oh, what do you, what do you want me to do? What do what is that? What do, like what do you want me to do? I mean, how many times do I want to hear to put him in the trunk uh, soundbite? I, I do that. I did that for the people. I sacrificed mm. myself for the, for the Burks Hive and mm -hmm. for the people, man. You gotta put some respect on middle aged Luke, you know? bro. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> middle aged Luke. <laughs> middle aged Luke. That's what I've been calling him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. Listen. Anyway, man. Give you know, Bodega you, his respect. CP, you know, no, his, his name is not Bodega. You you, know you, you, you probably the one that lo you probably the one that loved quivers, <laughs> didn't you? You, you, you probably oh, were all on board. Oh, Alex God. was all on board in quivers, quivers, right? Oh, no, man. was not a big quivers fan. Yeah. Bro. Oh man, my my uh, and my camera my camera just went out. Look at that. Look at that. Oh look, you're stuck in the matrix. You're in the matrix. I am stuck in the matrix. Yeah. Oh, hang on, sir. What the hell's going on? You caught spazzing out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, you you was all up with the quivers uh, situation, quivers, here, Al. Bro, ugh. It, nah. it, it, it just, it's just funny how things happen every time Burke's name is just around, <sighs> and then now he's now he's he's in the Matrix. <laughs> right, Listen, that's man. crazy. The time yeah. was pretty wild. Camera doesn't want to cooperate. Yeah, mm -hmm. camera don't want to cooperate. What Cam's is breaking out? Breaking speaking of Bo out, bro. See, speaking of, of Bogdan, don't you think it's interesting, Chris Persinianin? Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um. He uh he reported and he's gotten a lot of stuff accurate. So, um he had reported that uh Bogey kind of got like a scope or something. He did. Yeah. Yeah. He and did. but it was interesting how nobody else did report it, and nobody asked him. So, uh, you know, I mean, I guess let's see how he plays. But it, I, I just yeah. think it's interesting that you know that came out and then there was no follow up by anyone else. So I'm not sure if it's something that's just you know they're keeping it. Close to the vest, you know how the Knicks are. They don't like to talk about anything. They haven't even put him on the injury report, although he's wearing like something on his wrist. But it is something to to monitor as a Nick fan, you know how you know because that's something that I'm going to be looking for because I thought it was interesting. You know he had reported it, and then but then nobody, you know, I haven't heard any other news from Tibbs or anybody else um, in the Knicks beat. Well, he's still expected to play in Game One, so I think that's. Potentially, why? Like we haven't heard much about is that. Let's see what happens game one before we dive too deep into this. Because I, I don't know, Jade. You, you, and Chris like, has you, a plug. Guys, Chris has a plug. He does. Yeah, he but does. you, you let me think about the. You let me let me ask you. Let me pose this to to everyone on the panel. Like, would it hurt the Knicks if the beat writers inquired about Bogey's injury and then it got over to the Sixers and say, "Hey, let's try. Let's was this all about?" Yeah. Let's try. Let's try to press Bogey in this way. Let's see 
uh, if he could still produce offensively. So maybe don't ask that question to help the Knicks and just keep that under wraps going into the uh, going into the series. Yeah, could, could, be the the could be part of the gamesmanship. Could be part of the gamesmanship. Not part two. Not part two. Well, your camera needs games and shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm on the uh, I'm on the native here, man. I'm on I'm on the backup. You know what I mean? Yeah. Always gotta have a backup. Yeah, you know? we, we are on we are on the generator right now. So oh, it is. Uh, what it did, is. Did, did, your, did your camera lose uh, battery power? CP? Is that what happened? <laughs> yeah. He lost charge. We, That's right. That's we, we are on the generator. Listen, man. This this, com- this computer's been on for for a week straight. <laughs> processing damn merch. Are you trying to figure out why OBS don't work? That's yeah, you man. Your question well, right there. Yeah, That's man. Crazy. I'm, I'm taxing this thing, man. You sure yeah. are. Uh, yeah. sure. Salute to everybody in the chat once again. Hit that thumbs up button for you boys. All right, let's get to the um, let's get to the ticket giveaway winner, man. We had a ton Ooh. of submissions, man. Over five hundred signups for this Damn. thing. Salute to our partners at Underdog Fantasy for uh, sponsoring these tickets. And two lucky winners are well, one lucky winner is getting two tickets to go to Game One, and the winner is. Congratulations to Carlton McNeely. Carlton McNeely. Congratulations to Carlton McNeely, man. They have won two tickets to game one at the Garden, man. Congratulations to Carlton McNeely. So to everybody who participated, there will be more opportunities to win as this series continues. So make sure you guys keep it locked, man. Number one show for the fans by the fans where uh, we get back to the fans, man. In a major, major way. Big ticket. Hottest ticket in the game. Okay. In the chat. <laughs> TM said fake name. Fake name. Who? No. Nah. Yeah, so literally, literally call it to Mac Neely. <laughs> call it to Mac Neely. C-Mac 8226. That's his username on Underdog. I'm not even sure if I was supposed to give that out. <laughs> they damn sure didn't want me to give the emails out. So, all right. <laughs> Shout out, shout out to him. He'd be giving out government uh, information at this point. <laughs> yeah. Telling people, telling yeah. people's holiday uh, wish list. Yeah. Giving out government identities. Yeah, for real. Yeah. A- absolutely, man. Carlton McNeely is the registered name here. So we'll just, we'll just go off of that. Um, salute to everybody in the chat. Once again, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Shout out to Above the Rim says, Can we manscape jump passes slash Pikachu X Factor? Okay. I'm not sure about the first part. I didn't get that one. What? But he says, uh, he says, uh, P- uh, Precious is an X Factor. I guess he's asking to cut out the jump passes. Is that what he's... Oh, oh, oh okay. Agree. Okay. All right. Agree, all right. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let me just turn I see I'm the designated translator on this panel, so it's okay. Yeah. I got you guys. Let, let, me, let me your turnovers. Let me, let me your turnovers. Who won, who won that Kings Pelicans game? I was asleep. Pelicans. The Kings was the the Pelicans put the Kings to sleep. Okay, okay. Like smoke. So them. so what does that mean? Damn. Like they six and zero, oh, six and zero oh against the Pel- against the Kings this year. Yep. Damn. I mean the game ended one hundred five ninety eight, but that wasn't indicative of how damn actually the game went. So Pelicans no Zion. No Zion. Right? Wow. Sheesh. So all of that all of that hype lighting the beam on the Warriors. <laughs> and, the Kings, and, the, right and the Kings are going back to going back Whoa. home. Were they like nothing. the two seed last year? Yes. Yeah. Or three seed. I, yeah. I I was never a big believer in that, man. Same. This is why. Yeah. You, know, you got these young guys, you anoint as stars, and it's all about doing yeah. it for multiple yeah. years. So Wow. I'm just saying. Pelican sent them packing, that, huh? Yeah. Is that yeah. a shot at OKC or Minnesota? No. No, no, I'm just saying, like De'Aaron Fox and like the Kings, like they were the number two seed. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Um these guys get anointed early. Mm-hmm. And then you got Jalen Brunson on this end mm-hmm. doing what he needs to do mm-hmm. at the right so, time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at the right time. True indeed. Hey, True hey indeed. yo, bro, can can y'all re- like? I don't think, I don't think we really. To me, it's like it's like still a surreal feeling that we're the two seed. Yeah, and maybe that's not important to people anymore, but because we were a two seed for like one day, and then it's like that one day is the last day of the season and then you go into the playoffs. I don't think fans have really taken a moment to like think about, yo, we're the number two seed. And I think maybe, you know, you're a Boston fan. You've learned to appreciate it because you've been a one seed for most of the season. And maybe because we haven't been a two seed, you know, for a week or a few days, no win, you know, early in the season. Like we became the two seed on the last day of the season. And how it happened. 
You know what I mean? Like yeah. having the Bucks lose their game, the Cavs lose their game, you know, and not only did we win our game, like we had to come back yeah. in that game against a, a in OT Chicago Bulls team. No, no, I, I hear you, JD. Like they, they, there's just so many factors to how we got this second seed. Like we fought and worked for this damn second seed. Injuries, getting the news about Julius Randle, all this where we thought, all right, let's hope we 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 have a chance at three or maybe four. We went up there and got that set. I'm with you, Dave. I hear what yeah, you're like, saying. Like we're about to we're about to start a game in round yeah. one, and we're yeah. the home team because home we're team. the two seed. Like that's right. just it's just wild to me. You know, I we think we were the waiting on is... our opponent, man. When can we say that has ever been a thing for us? We were waiting on who we were going to play yesterday or two days ago. Isn't that crazy? I'm think, with you. Yeah, I think the issue is is that you have people in the media downplaying the Knicks getting the that two part. seed, so it also dampens the excitement because. You know, it's like, oh, well, the Cavs, they didn't want to face the Sixers, so they decided to lose. Milwaukee, they didn't want to face the Sixers, so they decided to lose. And now they've put the Knicks in this position where it's like, oh, it's it's great that you made the second seed, but now your reward is potential, is a matchup with a non-traditional seventh seed team that everyone's, you know, saying, oh, well, how are the Knicks going to stop the Sixers instead of giving the Knicks their credit? So I feel like it's just dampened the parade for Knicks Nation, although Knicks Nation should be proud to see yeah. a 50 win team, to see the Knicks just go through all the adversity possible and still come out on the other side looking like a tough physical branded basketball team that has competed with everybody. While other teams were, you know, whether or not they were healthy or not, the Knicks did what they had to do in order to stay in position. So as a fan, I'm excited that they're a two seed. I, oh, we haven't done time. this. Since the, we haven't time. done this since Mellow, man. Strangers, so it's, been that, it's been that long, and I like you got to just cherish the moment. And guys, how can we? Was it? Think, just think about this. The last time the Knicks have been consistently successful for like a decade was the '90s. Yeah, the Knicks are on that path right now to do that. Like they did it 2021. Right, twin one twenty two was a down year, but they came bounced back last season. They're in the playoffs again this year, and with Jalen Brunson at the helm and the way that this thing is looking, where Tom Thibodeau will probably get an extension, like you just gotta believe this team will constantly be competitive and be in the playoffs. Like we've never been in the play in with Tom Thibodeau. We've yeah. never been in the play in. It's, it's a, a great time to be a fan, Rangers. Right? Yeah. Uh, you got the Knicks. Yeah. You got the Yankees who Soto won tonight. Soto clobbering home runs left and right. You got, them, you got the Mets winning right now in the seventh inning against yeah. Yamamoto. Yeah. You should be living football. Football. The football. Mets, The Mets beating yeah. the Dodgers in, in L.A. right now, beating mm -hmm. Yamamoto. So you got the Mets. You got the Yankees. You got the Rangers. You got the Knicks. You got the NFL draft next week. You know, Jets 10th pick. Giants 6th pick. Yo, New York is on fire right now. We, we back, man. And it is. It is New York against the world, fellas. You know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody in the chat once again. Hit that thumbs up on the feed, boys. CK, CP, CK, JD, Alex in the building. And uh, salute to everybody who copped their merch, man. Salute to everybody who copped their merch. <laughs> the New York versus the world merch. Give you a little preview. Fellas, your merch is on the way. Should be getting to y'all tomorrow. And here it is, man. As voted on by the fans. There we go, man. You got Lady Liberty. Shout out my guy, Chris Murray. The artists, just give you a little sneak peek here. For everybody that cop, we got the New York versus the world in the front. And then on the back, man, whole squad, whole squad. So these are the white versions. And then you got the uh, the black joints here. Whole squad is going to be kitted up with these for the playoffs. There you go. And there you go, man. There you go. So to everybody who copped. By far the biggest, the biggest merch release that KFTV's ever done. And uh, this one was a, a, a whole team show, a whole family show, matter of fact, from uh, the, crowd, the, the, the fans who voted on it to uh, the people who printed it, to the people who, who drew it up, and to the people who fulfilled it. Because I literally had my whole family working <laughs> around the clock to make sure. <laughs> yo, yo, me and my pops was working for three days straight. Big up my pops, man. We just Shut working up. for three days straight, making sure y'all get y'all merch, man. So uh, just know that when you get your merch in the mail, just know this was done with love all the way around, man. So we appreciate the uh, the support, and uh, yeah, it was it was great to see as we were filling out the you know the shipping, seeing a lot of the day one names, a lot of the people that support us, 
it's 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 like I said, it's bigger than the T, man. This, this is about us as a community, us as as fans, and us connected through uh, KFTV, man. This this was a six years in the making project. Uh, this year, merch was going to be a big goal, just in terms of getting something that the people could re- be really proud of, and so uh, so we appreciate. It. People started already tagging us on social media with uh, with their kids rocking their merch and stuff like that. So great job. By um by by everybody involved and uh, yeah man go to shop.nextfantv.com to go get yours. All right, let's uh, shout out some more super chats. I got Angelo. I got oh Reese Anderson. Shout out Reese Anderson. Five dollar super chat says I'm even more of a fan of Brunson now than I already was when I found out his mother is Jamaican. Wow. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a funny story on that. So <laughs> I'm gonna give you a funny story of that. So I'm dealing with the merch and my mom calls me. Because you know my family's Jamaican. My mom calls me. And she's <laughs> like, Yeah, you know, this organization, my mom's in like 150 Jamaican organizations. So this one organization that I'm with, you know, we're gonna be teaming up with the Jalen Brunson Foundation because they're gonna be helping us out because his mom is Jamaican. Now, my mom is like one of those like clueless sports fans that like has no idea what's going on. Like she thinks it's like she thinks the Knicks are playing like the Rangers in the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? She's one of those. So I'm like, oh, mom. I'm like, oh, mom, that's not true. You know what I'm saying? I, I talk to Mama Brunson all the time. She never tells me that. You don't know sports, mom. That's not true. And she told me that twice. Me and Marie was there twice. And me and Marie was like, nah, I don't, we don't think that's true. So needless to say, I got to call my mom tomorrow. Offer an apology. <laughs> so shout out to. <laughs> Shout out to Reese Anderson. The Rangers. I don't know if my mom sent them. But wow. I did not know that. Salute. (laughs) Yeah, man. Salute, man. He's one of us, Al. He is yeah. one of us. No Look wonder he's so great at everything. Come on, man. <clears throat> now oh, that boy. makes no, sense, that, bro. This, this explains the work ethic. That makes oh, sense, boy. bro. We got you say boat. We got uh we got oh, everybody, man. Oh, we, that's one of us. That's one of us. Go. Let's go, man. One of my Bayesians in the chat. Let's go. On, we here too. We here too. Big up JB. Let's go. <laughs> we here. We here. Let's go, Bayesians. Yo, oh my God. He's one of us. <laughs> wow. Is uh, Emilio CP still frozen in the Zoom? Oh, he's still frozen. In he's the still frozen. Am in the Zoom. I? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. You're good on the live. Oh my he's god. In our Zoom. Wait, but you know, wait, you know but, CP. I heard that Keith Pompey has a camera to lend you. Wait, hang on. How long have I been frozen on the uh, on the Zoom? Since in you, the live, since, you're fine. Since, but, yeah. Since, from the moment you said there Alec Burke, she was. Oh, done. that's crazy. You know, guess <laughs> look at that. Yeah. From oh, the moment oh, oh, you oh. said Alec uh, Burke. Oh man, now now I completely glitched this thing out. Ooh. I shouldn't have. Oh man, why? Ooh. I shouldn't have pressed anything, bro. No, nah, man. No, nah, you shouldn't. I, I completely glitched <laughs> out, <have>, bro. <laughs> completely glitched out, man. All right, so you, you still good on the live? CP. No, we're not good on the live. This thing, that one, completely no, knocked no, out no, on the no. live. It's, it's 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 chaos. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Just, <laughs> that was just CK. Just yeah. click it off and hey. click it back on, like the button. And hold on, hold on. Nah, this thing is glitching, bro. David L. Byer. That's what I'm saying. I was trying yeah. to well, see if, where my beige is. If you, at. Now, if you click the camera oh, icon so. off and on, it, it, it bro. Should re- oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So, oh, all right. Man. So, so we Don't are back me. here. Hang it's on. Money time. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. All right. So we back, we pack up on the Zoom, but CP in the trunk with burst. <laughs> for some reason, we are all chaotic on OBS. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the backup. Backup, backup plan. So hang tight. So to everybody in the chat, once again, this is what we do. <laughs> There's absolutely there chaos go. going hey, on we here. Good. We good now. No, no, no. Not on OBS. We're good in the Zoom. We're not good on OBS, though. My OBS is still is still tripping out. So nobody can see me on the, uh, on the what you call it, on the stream. Oh, no. You want me to send uh, Keith Pompey over to... You know, <laughs> yeah, send, yeah, exactly. <laughs> send that fool over and <laughs> tell him to help out. Keith, we need you. <laughs> Keith, we need you. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, let's go down there. All right, here we go. Quick fix. That's what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do here. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Got it. Quick workaround. Now oh, we good on the, now we going on yeah now we going on OBS. I had to drop See? all I had to drop all of the uh, bells and whistles and just get straight to it. We like the Knicks, man. I'm on a, I'm on the backup generator camera. 
<laughs> no graphics, no highlights. <laughs> this is how we do. We back to we we are back to the origins of KFTV, man. So here, here we go. Here we go. There it is. Uh, what you got to right. do, man? Yeah. Nice. All right. So wow. let's, let's take one more phone call before this thing completely blows up because I think that's gonna be the ne- <laughs> I think that's gonna be the next phase, and I won't be able to make it. CP's to post-game. like after this, we don't have a backup. Uh, yeah. Plan. After, <laughs> after <laughs> this, we Use we are out of look. options. CP's not trying to go to a computer store tomorrow. Yeah. Oh no, no, I do not right. have time to go to the Mac store tomorrow on a, on a, on a Sunday. Can't no way. No more watching McCall. No sir. Yeah, no ahead. sir. All right. So with that being said, let's let let's let Rambo close the show. And so I could actually sh- legitimately shut down this computer, man. So, Rambo, let's go. Man, first off, salute, salute, salute. Let's go. You know, Jay Boogie, I see you in this chat. I need you in the playoffs, Jay Boogie. I need to hear from you in the playoffs, man. I need everybody's energy up. Look, right now, I feel like there's a lot of scorn fans out there, a lot of people who really don't want to don't want to get their feelings hurt. They don't want to get behind this team. Man, this is the time to go right now, bro. Yeah. Get your affairs in order. You have 17 hours and 35 minutes to get your affairs in order right now. I don't want to hear no <laughs> excuses, okay? My wife is upstairs playing the Sona Allegra, okay? And I'm going to go and I'm going to handle business, okay? <laughs> shout out oh. to, this, to, this, to this wine that does not sponsor the show, but shout out to it, okay? I'm gonna handle business because in 17 hours go. and 34 minutes, I'm tapped in. I'm in all the way. They Paul Reed, I don't even want to talk about him. Talking about easy. You talking about the, the most grittiest, most physical team in the NBA right now? Is the easiest matchup for you guys? When you have a, a, a the most fragile center in the playoffs right now? Mm. <laughs> Okay, sure, <laughs> sure, that's fine. We'll, we'll take that. Let's go. Yeah, that's what you think. That's cool. I love it. All right, <laughs> and you would have been better off playing the Celtics and, and having KP guard MB. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna be real with y'all. Let's go. Okay? But it, it's all good. Give look, us your series talk, prediction, man. I, I, series prediction. Look, oh my God, I, I'm gonna be real with you. My series prediction. I don't even care what it is. You know why? Because this team's gonna give me 150 percent, and that's my prediction. Even even an NBA championship could lose 12 games mm. and still be an NBA championship. And that's okay. just a fact. Okay, so I don't care what the prediction is. Let's okay, go. I don't care if we sweep them. I don't care if it's a seven game. I know that the guys that we have out there, they're gonna play. Okay, the X factor. I'm gonna tell you, I, I, Deuce McBride has always been my guy. X factor, because when Jalen Bunch is in, ain't in. What is you know we we need we need a second Dan or we need yeah. we need a, some offense. Yeah. Excuse me, this this wine got me slurring. <laughs> let me relax real quick. Let me, let, 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 let me peel it back real fast, okay? But my true X factor <laughs> is the one and only Jalen Brunson. Let's go. This shit does not. This ship only goes wherever yeah. he takes it. Yes, okay. Go. He, and he has had nothing but practice. Okay, Nick Nurse, I know you're listening. I don't care. Throw those double teams. Throw those traps. Mm. Okay. Because we've been working on that literally the past 20 games. You've seen Hart right in the middle. You've seen Hartenstein right in the middle. It doesn't matter. We're going to keep a heart right there to dish it off to. Whether it's a floater or we're dishing it off to Dante, dishing it off to OG, dishing it off to Deuce. But it's, we got that figured out. Okay? These guys are going to go play 150%, man. Let's get behind this team. I know some of you guys are scared to, to really give your team this all because you're, you're, you're scared of being let down, man. Let's I talk go. to 90s fans a lot. I talk to, to fans that were, you know, been, been fans since the 80s, and they're like, oh, man, I feel like I've been through this before. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to get let down. This is not the same team, my guy. I'm going to be mm. real with y'all. This is not the same team. This is not the same feeling I got, man. Can't like, this is different, man. Let's go. Y'all need to get y'all need to get real hype right now. I'm trying to Let's keep go. my voice now because my wife don't know what I'm doing right now. Because then I promise y'all, I'm up though. I'm up. I'm so up. <laughs> I promise y'all, man. Hey man, shout out to all you guys out there, Let's man. Go. Shout out to you, CP, the fan child. Shout out to you, Alex the Tratacaster. Shout out to you, uh, to um um JD. Shout out to you, 2K TV. Ah oh, damn, I messed up your name, dog. My I'm man, so sorry, 2K bro. TV. I just put you on TV, bro. I just did that. I, I'm so wrong for that, bro. Let's go. Let's go. But but I'm gonna be real with y'all, bro. It's all love, man. It's all love. Baby, I'm coming right now. Baby. I got I got the Taylor Port right here. 
I'm the most dead on spot. Rambo, Rambo putting in that, that quality time because he know tomorrow it's all day. It's all day tomorrow. You got KFTV play by play. You got KFTV post game live. We are on and popping. Rambo is doing what he needs to do. He gave you all the blueprint. And he's acting on it. More than just the blueprint. I ain't gonna lie to you. He's he's, he's executing. That's it's right, 2K TV. Some info. Talk about some info some that was really... Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. My Speak man, on yeah. it, 2K TV. <laughs> 2K, <laughs> 2K man, TV, I'm on it, bro. My man and my, and said his, 2K his, TV. His name is Rambo, but you know, you know, you know who won the relationship when he says my wife is upstairs and he's still whispering. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's why he be outside every time oh, when he calls. <laughs> Gotta handle his business. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Rambo though, man. His pan pan is strong. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I, I, I wanna yeah. I wanna I wanna quickly ask uh, a hot, hot question. Yeah. Oh boy! <laughs> be ready to be here re for the next thirty minutes. No, not yeah. thirty minutes. Yeah. But 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 you ready for this CP? Yeah. If the Knicks lose in five, ninety seconds. Yeah. <laughs> You see, they're like, oh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> so, so, so much, so much for the half hour show. Oh, we hour, we man. hour and a half into it. Let's go, man. Great show. I don't man. know. I don't know if that was his agent, but um, <laughs> would will Thomas Thibodeau get a contract extension? Yes. In regardless yes. of if the Knicks get swept or lose in five, he's getting a contract extension. Yes. That's what you're saying? Uh, I think he's locked in. Follow-up is, seconds. does the yeah. amount of years depend on how we do this series or this playoffs? I say no. Bro, so if we get sweat, yeah. he's getting a major contract extension? I think he's yeah. going to get the Julius Randle pass. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I disagree with that. <laughs> Year, years don't matter for Jimmy D. He'll he'll cut the check. Damn. He'll he'll cut the check he, he, and send you to Cancun. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we losing the first round in five or, or get swept, and you're giving him without four years? without our second all star. Yeah. They, they're gonna have the argument. They're yeah. gonna have the argument. Yeah, I, I think he's already earned it. Yeah, I could. Uh, I do. I'm just two KT. <laughs> I'm just two KT. I hope. I, obviously, I hope. Not, but ten that, that's, seconds. That's surprising. Like that. Like like that. How how like that? It doesn't matter. Like that's surprising to me. I, th I, think I think he, I think he got you. Good, CK. Two K. Good. No. <laughs> two K. Two K. TV is your new name for that one, man. I'm never yeah, not calling yeah. you anything else. I'm not calling you anything else, bro. No, I would. No, I, I'm just saying. I look. I, I, I hear where you're going for, Jaden. You're right, bro. I, I just think that he's still gonna. They're, they're still gonna cut the check. Yeah. Second seed with all the injuries. Like, yeah, it would be unfortunate. But they have that Julius Randle aspect. Like, well, you know, we did what we could with what we had against a tough team. But we weren't fully healthy, so let's see what happens when everybody's wow. back and da 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 da. da. Wow. I, I can I can see that. I can see that for sure, for sure. Wow. So yeah. he, regardless, he gets out coached, limited MB. <laughs> like wow, wow. Let's not yeah. put that energy out there on no, the No, it's not. I, I, it's not gonna. I, no, I'm just saying. Like yeah. it's not. You know, it's it's. I'm I'm definitely rooting for him because you talk about, you know, him and Randall. I mentioned. I hope that at the end of whatever this is, I hope, I really do hope Randall's a part of it because I just think they deserve it. They were at the beginning of this journey. You know what I mean? Mm. Obviously, business, unfortunately, that's not how business works. Right. Right? Like, it, it's unfortunate for Randall because the, there's a business side to this. Yeah. But I really hope from an emotional, from a fan standpoint, that if we get to the promised land, that's, that Tom Thibodeau and Randall together are a part of that because... They started this thing, and I, I actually think Tom Thibodeau has done his job in terms of what he was brought in here to do, in terms of building that stability, three out of four years, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, I, you know, I'm rooting for the guy because whether you disagree with the process, whatever your philosophy is, one thing you do know about him is he goes 100% as a coach. Yeah. That's all you can ask for. Well, wouldn't you, couldn't you see, like, Randall being here for the long term, almost not, not necessarily because he was here from the beginning, but if you just look at the construct for most NBA teams now, how many teams have more than two bona fide stars 
like outside of the Clippers who are showing that, you know, that's flunking again. Like if you just go around the yeah. league, let's look at it's Boston, it's J, it's Brown and Tatum. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the Knicks, it's Brunson and Randall. You look at Philly, it's Maxi and it's Embiid. You can go to Minnesota? Dallas, it's Kyrie and Luca. You can go mm-hmm. out to Denver, it's Murray and Jokic. You just keep going down the line. Actually, if you go to any other team that has multiple stars, you look at the Suns, the Clippers, they're not really doing that well. And I think a lot of teams realize that you don't need that much star power. Yeah. You need your two stars, and then you need depth. star role players and depth. So, like, KP, star role player for the Celtics, right? Like, he can give you scoring, but is he that well-rounded player that's close to, like, Tatum or Brown? To be that effective, no, which is why they still keep Brown and Tatum, and that's how I look at the NBA moving. So, you, I think the Knicks have, I think if they're looking at the landscape of the league, they they could say, hey, we're fine with where we're at right now. Can we continue to build around these two and get those star role players? I mean, you look at OG, star role player. If Dante continues to elevate, star role player. Josh Hart, the way he's playing, top role player. I know the thought process. Maybe you go out there and go get another star. I know Donovan Mitchell is out there because he's up there. But unless there's a good, like, unless it's a good deal, I don't think the Knicks are going to necessarily, like, break the bank just to go get another star because the the league right now, there's just so much parity that if what they saw just from a small sample size in January and you get that over a course of an 82-game season, maybe they can buy into that. If they get if they make the ECF, that's the yeah. other thing. Is like, do they even need to do that much? Right. Like, like yeah. Julius Randle could be thought of as the addition, off season addition, if right. you really think about it. Because it's like, wait, we got that far without him. Right. Like, how much more do we need? Do we need to go a Phoenix route? You saw how that's kind of altered a lot of stuff there. <laughs> where it's like, uh, I don't know. So, um, but yeah, uh, I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm really rooting for the head coach because. Yeah you got some naysayers out there with the whole playoff thing. So I'm hoping that we get to the ECF and a lot of that stuff is put to bed. And then you're going into the off season with a lot of momentum and a lot of excitement. And now you're looking at the next step next year um, in terms of NBA finals and, and, and moving forward. It's too much good vibes around this team right now for me to talk about the off season. So I'll wait till the off season. <laughs> oh, look at you. You jumping out the window. It's too, it's too much good vibes. I, listen, it's too much good vibes, man. I'm, I'm no, no, no. Positive. Real CP doesn't want to come out. No, yet. I'm saying I'm you're jumping out the window for this season. I like it. Listen, I, or, I, or you're not. Or, or, or you on your, you know, your little soft, oh, I'm going to wait. Or, 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 that's exactly what like, 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 what's your vibes right now for, 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 for right now for this series? You, I would you, say, you got this? I would say... You know, the, the caller that kicked off and was like, you know, already put us in the Eastern Conference Finals. I would say slow down. Let's take it one day at a time. Oh, here we let's go. win, let's win tomorrow, man. <laughs> you see? Let's win you tomorrow, see? man. Series, series 8-1 on paper. Win tomorrow. Play the game. You got to play the game. Series 8-1 on paper. That overconfident stuff will get you. Series 8-1 on paper, man. Just see how it goes. It's a series. <laughs> It's a series. It's a you series. See, as we get, you know what's it's happening series, with CP? As the hours and minutes we get closer to game time, <laughs> now the nervousness <laughs> it's start, it starting wow. to kick the in. Pressure. The pressure is starting to kick listen. in. Yeah, you're like, oh, it's game time. Uh, listen, man. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens tomorrow, man. They built themselves up. They've had a great year. A lot of great storylines. Now it's time to execute. Rambo, ten dollars super chat to CK two K. Forgive me, my brother. <laughs> so he put it out there. He corrected. Alex, He's Alex, good, you see, correct. you see CP. You see the CP we're getting now because the energy oh, yeah, is starting. Start, no, the common. energy is starting to die out. So very we're very I'm very I am fading. I am. I am fading. I caught a quick boost of adrenaline, and I'm fading. <laughs> He's I'm, like, let's go. I'm activated. <laughs> Nixon, I got Nixon six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nixon going all the way. Yeah, I said. Yeah, I said Nixon six. I'll stand by that. Nixon okay. six. Yeah, Nixon six CPU tomorrow. We gotta take it one game at a time. You one do, but you do. At a time. You do. Oh man, you, you do, man. Play, oh, how about play, this? Tomorrow must thing. win. Absolutely. Yeah, set a tone. Sure. Set the you tone. got home court advantage. Game you got one at win. home. Yeah, set man. the tone. Especially with how crazy everybody's talking. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. Must win. I mean, JD, we just went over the stats. You know, you pointed out you were right. Seventy percent. Like you gotta win it. 
You have to. We saw what happened last year against Miami. We, we but, lost game one. Well, you know, I'm just saying because, you know, typical, you know, if, you know, the two seed, I guess from an outside perspective, a two seed loses game one, you might still think, hey, listen, we, but I guess, you know, this is not I, the traditional two seven seed, no. being that the seven seed. Not at all. It's not a, so I, I could see that, you know, I could see that thinking. Sure. Where the Knicks lose, you, you might feel like, uh-oh. Shout out to Nixon Dimes, man. Just gifted five more franchise channel memberships. Shout out to Nixon Dimes. $20 super chat from Tom from Huntington. Says, uh, gentlemen, great show as always. Shout out to the chat, the panel, and Manscaped. I'll be watching in my Ewing jersey with the broom in hand. Nixon four. Let's go. Rapid fire king. Ooh. Well, last time these two teams uh, met in the playoffs, the brooms were out. Nick swept the Philadelphia 76ers in the first round. Back when it was the best of five. Ooh. Knock, knocked him out, man. Knocked they usually say history tends to repeat itself. Yeah. I've heard that. Let, let's see. Let, let's see, I've man. I've heard that. Uh, Brunson Stan on the Discord. Got on mute your mic. Brunson Stan. Yeah, can you hear me? Loud and clear, sir. How you, name? Uh, how you doing? What's your name? Where are you calling it from? Uh, good. I'm calling it from Virginia. VA, VA. Okay, which part? Yep. Uh, so I have a bit okay. of a right. conspiracy theory about the the Knicks and what's happened recently. So I'm actually heard. Did you guys see the video of that leaked of LeBron James and the Knicks video that they showed about the Sopranos? Yeah. Have you heard about that? I d- I yeah. did. Um, I wasn't too interested in it to be honest. But uh, you know, it's playoff yeah, time. Yeah, I, I I think someone leaked it. Obviously, yeah. To to mock the Knicks because the Knicks are too good and people can't mock them anymore. So like okay, let's leak this video so we can make fun of the Knicks. Yeah, I I feel like that that like oh lol Knicks the Knicks suck they're incompetent they want to somehow make fun of the Knicks but they can't so they leak this video. I don't yeah. know. It's just weird to me. It's weird that they leaked it. <laughs> Truth be told, I actually texted Frank I saw this morning because they had Pablo Torre on the show. Him and Scalabri on NBA Radio. I texted him. I was like, yo, get this fool off the air, man. <laughs> I said, yo, it's playoff time. Who cares? They going deep in the Soprano story, yeah, the video. Then yeah. I'm like, bro. Frank's like, oh, it's an interesting story. I was like, bro, nobody cares, bro. It's playoff time. The thing happened in 20... T- I literally texted Frank. <laughs> I dropped little man off at school. I said, Frank, what, what is going on right now? What are we talking about? <laughs> I said, yeah. I, on everything I love. Interesting I said, bro, what are we doing, man? Who cares about this story? Oh, we got a three-hour show. We don't want to talk playoffs all day. What do I care about the Soprano video from 2010? Tony's yeah. gone, man. Rest in peace, James Gandolfini. But it's playoff time. It's money time. You know what I'm saying? Brunson yeah, stand on the Discord. Real. Yeah, absolutely. And and speaking on getting stars as well, too, I yeah. saw some connections with like AD wanting to leave the Lakers and potentially yeah. going to the Knicks. I I don't want him, despite his talent. He's 32. Yeah. He has an extremely expensive contract. They'll probably take Mitchell Robinson, which I don't want. Like, yeah. It, it's like the net chase stars, look what happened to them. They it totally blew up in their face. Why? Why, why would you want to do that to our organization? It would yeah. be a mess. Yeah, well, got- like I said, man. Let, it, listen, it's playoff time, man. Let's worry about that yeah. later. Let's yeah, worry about all that later. Talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I'm taking Knicks and six. Let's go. Uh, and, then, and then we're probably taking the Pacers because you know Milwaukee can't handle that offense, and then. You know, we battle with with Boston and see where it goes from there. I'm I'm totally believing this team. Okay. Call back anytime, man. Let's go. Let's go Knicks, man. Knicks in six. Brunson Stan is with us. Sposa's going to find a way to get two wins. (laughs) (laughs) You see how they steamroll the Bulls tonight? I I thought Chicago was going to be in it, man. Yo, that coach is different, bro. Yeah. I thought Chicago was going to be in it, man. What happened, The way man? Chicago looked against the Hawks and Kobe White, and then tonight, Kobe, did, did he even play? He like, neutralized, but, yeah. I'm looking at the game, bro, like quarter to quarter, the way he's switching things up. Like, he'll find a way to win two wins, and that would be a benefit to the Knicks because you want the Celtics to play as many games as possible, especially yeah. guys like KP. You know, you want you want that physical mm-hmm. play um, to, to affect them. So by the time you play them, you know, maybe some guys are, are a little bit tired, a little bit fatigued, and you take advantage. Is this Trey Young's last year in a Hawks jersey? Mm-hmm. I think so. He's going to be a Laker. Laker. I think so. Wow. Bold prediction. I'm thinking Spur. Oh, don't do that to Pop. Yeah. The best, I think it's the Spurs best. or Lakers. The best, thing about, the best thing about tomorrow is as soon as you wake up, you, you, you eat your breakfast, 
You do like maybe one or two things. Boom, one o'clock, games already started. So like since the since yeah. the Knicks game is at six, it's like you get to start the day. You got NBA all day, so it helps yeah. with weight. I know yeah, CP, and about twelve hours. I know CP won't be in any of that because he has all that Bro, stuff going I, on. I got I got to get make my way to the city. I'm not watching nothing till six o'clock. But for the normal fan, <laughs> yeah. they'll be able to wake up for you got sure. One o'clock game. You got a three thirty game, so it'll help with the anticipation because once tomorrow gets here, like all you're thinking about is six o'clock. No, well, let's go, man. Well, I'm so hyped. I'm well, so that, hyped, well, that being we said, fellas, we gonna have fun. We said we were gonna keep it a half hour, and uh, we gave. How we do? We gave him two. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we gave him two. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That's just how it goes. On the number one show for the fans by the fans, man. The squad cast. CPJD, Alex, and. Uh, 2K TV. 2K TV. Yeah, man. So, so listen. This, the, the the plan. Uh, what I want to do as the series progresses, man, is uh, we're gonna have different roundtables, man. Different roundtables hosted by one of the four of us. You know what I mean? You're gonna see the four of us. You see Jeff. You see Jake. You're gonna see a lot of people, man. So we're gonna be mixing and matching uh, some of your favorite guests. If you guys have requests. Throw it in the chat. Already, already signed Ash back for the playoffs, so Ash is on deck. So we're gonna have a, a lot of different people rotating in and out of the uh, the um, the roundtables just to to react and, and dish on this series as we go, man. So keep it locked on KFTV. Like I said, man, this is the number one show for the fans by the fans. The best content out, and just keep supporting us, man. Hit the like button, hit the share button, subscribe to the channel. So Nixon six, are we unanimous? Nixon six or Al? You said Nixon five. No, no, no. I no, just, CK said Nixon. CK, I'm, no, I'm, I'm with the people. I'm with the people. There we go. Proud search. Yeah, there 2K is. said Nixon 5. 2K TV on. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm hype, man. CL at Sucker Punch tomorrow. CL at the Garden. We will see you guys, man. Uh, Marcus Villanova says John Smelk. John Smelk is on board. He will be part of the round tables as well. He says Angel from Philly incoming. I don't know, man. Angel dipped on us. I don't know if we can let him back. I'm not sure. Man. I don't know if Smooth can come back. He, he did, uh, man. You know? And that would be crazy if he comes back when when Ashley comes back. Yeah, I don't know, man. You know, once once you leave the tree like that, I'm not I'm not sure, man. You know? Coach, yeah. the CP coaching tree? That's the CP coaching tree, man. You see, <laughs> you, you, were on, you were on with King Deej early in the spaces. My, my guy King Deej is running his own, uh, you know, late night show. Lights get even yeah. brighter. Okay, Jimmy Brown. Coaching <laughs> it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> we, we, we've talked about it. <laughs> <first. Yeah. laughs> it's thriving in some areas and it's, it's you know, completely <laughs> tail spinning in others. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I'm, like, Bel- I'm like Belichick. <laughs> Bill Belichick, no. <laughs> Belichick in other areas. Oh, Yo, fellas, dude. great show, man. Great. Let's go, man. Let's get into this series. Can't wait for it. Great show. Remember that this show is available in audio podcast format. Keep it locked. And we will see you guys tomorrow, play-by-play, post-game live. Keep it locked, man. We back. Let's go.